now rocking with Ghetto Report. 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 Podcast. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all know what's going on. I'm here with the Ghetto Report uh, podcast, and uh, we in the building. Show no mercy. Let's go. You know we had to check in with um, OG Percy. What's your Crip game? Five Deuce Hoover. Five Deuce Hoover. Okay. He battle rap. Let's go. Let's he set go. the internet on fire. You okay. know what I'm saying? He don't, he, 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 he don't hold his tongue. Um, Percy. Yes, sir. He got two, he got two dogs ready to, t- to attack, too. No, sir, no, sir. I just got two dogs that are um, ready to meet and greet. Yeah, he said they don't That's bite, but, man, them motherfuckers look vicious. Well, anything with teeth to bite, you would bite me if I did something to you. Nah, I don't bite, man. Anybody with teeth, anything with teeth to bite. Yeah, so, Percy, man. Yes, sir. H- how you doing, man? Um, I'm on top of the ground. The ground ain't on top of me. So, um, I'm all right. Yeah, you doing your thing, man. You, 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 you um, famous now. No, sir. You not famous yet? Well, my pockets don't say it. Oh, man. You know, I probably start saying I'm famous at, on. Hey, that's the old school game. Well, that's the truth. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I'll, I'll let you tell it, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what famous is, though. Yeah. I mean, you see, you know, I guess if you know and you're famous. You're doing interviews. Everybody's hitting you up to, you know, sit down and talk with you. So you got some type of notoriety. Mm, okay. All right, so Percy. Talk um, to me. Where you from? Um, Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. And, um... When did you start gangbanging? Um, at, 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 a, at a dumb age. Um, in 88, in 88, 89, I started putting it together. What made you um, fall into that, friends? Uh, no, culture. Culture? Yes, sir. Um, whatever was in style, that's what I was on, just like your nice little warm-up um, you got on. That's a nice style. Yeah, thank you, man. Um, Shout out um, Design House. Um, I went with the culture. Yeah. Um, um, in Fort Worth, Texas, you either um, eat with them or you on the menu. Yeah. That's how this city rolled down here. And um, you don't want to be um, left behind. Yeah. Um, if, 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 if the new Jordan's out, everybody's standing in line to get them. Yeah. If the new All Stars come out, I want two or three prior to. Um, well, you change with the culture. Sad to say, um, they made the, the, the um, society. Uh, allowed gang banging to be our culture, uh, for our destruction. Dig what I'm saying? So uh, and we fell for it. Yeah. Uh, ask me why. Why? Because that what was in style. Yeah. Uh, if everybody would have had Jerry curls and hot tops and doing a good dance, happy, uh, that would have been in style. You had a Jerry curl? Uh, I, I uh, uh, don't do me like that. Uh, 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 you know, you know, that was it. It was I mean, it. I had one, oh. but uh, he was a Percy curl. What you mean a Percy curl? What's he that? wouldn't curl up. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> it wouldn't work? <laughs> At all. Uh, yeah. This is the true African um, um, mud top. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just like carpet. Yeah. It ain't going nowhere. You can put what you want on spill, drink, anything. <laughs> it's going to stay the same. <laughs> That's what my hair was like. We was out of there when it came. A, ki- a chemical wouldn't work. Yeah. Uh, the only thing hipped on my hair was a straightening comb. Stick some fire on it and, and try to get some relax on it. But um, now, old Jerry Curl didn't work for me, man. I couldn't get my Michael Jackson on. Okay. What year was that? You was trying to get that curl. Okay. About 82, 81. Yeah. Yes, sir. About 82, 81. I was trying to um, curl up. And, oh, because that what was in style. H- how long did you try for? Well, um, mama didn't keep wasting her money. So I guess she found out after <laughs> a couple of um, Jerry Curls and <laughs> shit looked the same the next day. Um, excuse me. Um, I, it's just a waste of money. Yeah, mama, I don't think, you know. We can't shake our shit. We got to shake our heat. <laughs> our curls won't go nowhere. <laughs> Yo. Uh, so so you gave that up, man. Um, so um, gang banging, it, it, it um, brought you to jail? Caused you to go to jail? No, no, sir. It caused me to go to jail. Okay. Uh, gang banging didn't do nothing but ruin my life. Yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, it caused me to go to jail. I learned that in um, the second 25. What you uh, mean the second 25? I've been 25 twice. 25 twice? Yeah, think about it. Okay. So, that, <laughs> so that's 50 years? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, there right. you go. I'm 53. Okay, so. Uh, I've been 25 twice. Uh-huh. Uh, my first 25, blowed it. Yeah. Second 25, I damn near blowed it. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yes, sir. 
How how many bids did you do? Uh, too many. Uh, I've been to state jail a few times. I've been to uh, prison a few times, and I've been incarcerated in the county. What you uh, mean? A, a numerous times. What, what, what you mean state and prison? Uh, you got state jail, and uh-huh. you got um, TDC, Texas Department of Corrections. That's uh-huh. prison. Uh-huh. Uh, state jail is just like a TD facility, but you're just doing, you know, state jail time day for day. Uh, when they give you state jail time. Uh, state prison, you got state jail and state prison. Okay. Yeah, um, but they still both shit. I mean, I don't yeah. know the difference. They yeah. only way they call so, it. So, yeah, how, uh, that, uh, um, where I'm from, we, we got state, county, state, and then you know the big boys. But okay. I never heard of state jail and state prison, state like two jail, different state things. State prison, yeah. man. State jail is for um, petty crime, but you still do time. Okay. <laughs> More than the county, or I mean, no? I mean, just get. You, I got caught with a joint. Well, you they gave me uh, six months state jail. God, what? Damn. Hello, it's Texas. Welcome to Texas, uh, where it ain't legal. Yeah, for, for a joint, huh? What uh, year was this? For a doobie, uh, uh, 19, 2023. Hey, you talking about? Nah, <laughs> nah. Hello, yeah, right now that you. Get I mean, to, I mean, I'm just saying if if it you know, ain't it I, ain't. I, I just I just know one thing. The law is the law. When you break it, there, they don't care where, where you at. Okay, so what year did you get caught with a doobie and go do the six months? Oh, uh, shit. What time I did? How many weed cases do I got? I got enough of them. Oh, yeah, I was standing on... Can I get your tail from Crip on her? Can I talk like that on her? Go ahead. Hello. Man, do your thing. Man. Tell us from a Crip, man. He asked me a question. I was sitting on the corner one day with a lot, lot of brothers that, you know, that was up to no good. We was, you know, they was hustling, you know, and I was bustering. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was just hanging around. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, when the laws pulled up, dude said law, and they pulled up, and everybody, like, shit, where everybody going? They were the police. Well, shit, you know. So, that's the police. And he jumped out. I guess uh, he was known for being the Pac Man of the neighborhood, mm-hmm. which is a, 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 a police officer that harasses black folks. So, hell, I ain't know. That's why they was running. Yeah. So, to make a long story short, I didn't run. Uh, and they had no reason to. And I was standing there, and the, and the officer ran up on me like, hey, hey, stay right there. Shit, I'm the only one still standing here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He treated me like I wasn't shit, so uh, he asked me, where are your buddies going? <laughs> shit, I was asking him the same thing. So uh, I guess my sarcasm pissed him off, you know, because I didn't run. I didn't show no fear. Uh, and I was like, for what reason? He, he said, so you smoking weed, huh? I said, no, I ain't smoking no weed. He said, I smell it on you. Shit, well. I'm outside. I don't know how you smell it on me. He went to do his little old search. He did his, his deep digging game. Oh, oh God, yeah. damn. <laughs> For what? And he kept saying, I smell it. And then I was out of, out of goddamn blue. Hell, I started smelling it. I said, I smell weed, too. I don't, what the fuck is he look? I don't got nothing on me. But now, I'm smelling it. It's getting stronger and stronger. I'm like, what the fuck? And I'll be damned. It's a fucking doobie down there burning like a motherfucker. I mean, it's burning hard. Now I just spotted it. Yeah. No, that's what he's looking at. And then, it, like a hound dog. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, thought you. Because I wasn't smoking that. They was, I guess, no, I ain't trying to snitch or nothing, but <laughs> I wasn't smoking it. He said, well, guess what? And I learned that day uh, how the game go. He took a little Ziploc bag. He dropped it, the doobie and he zipped it up. He said, you thank your buddies for getting you a case. I said, excuse me, sir, you picked it up off the ground. Uh, uh, possession of a controlled substance, you know, is nine-tenths of the law. You have to find that on my possession. I didn't have that on me. Yeah. You picked that up off the ground. And you know, and he knew I wasn't smoking, but hey, uh, I guess like he said, he ain't wasting the red and blue lights for nothing. Yeah. And his gas. <laughs> Somebody going to jail. Don't you know I went to jail? Yeah. Yeah, I went for a doobie. Burning on the ground. That's where you come on, officer. No, you can do all that paperwork for that. Oh, you just want to ride the clock on me today. Okay. So you got the six months for that? Oh no, I only did like um seven days okay. in jail for a doobie, but seven hours is too long for yeah, nothing. Yeah. What happened with the case? You beat it? Oh, never did. I did the time for it. Shit, I mean, you know, my old poor pocket Percy on. Uh, uh, you can't afford an attorney. Ain't nothing to fight a doobie, so you might as well. Uh, I got time, sir, to make a long story short. Yeah, they don't give you attorneys down here? Oh, yeah, that, that hurt. You ever give you somebody to set you up more than what you're already in oh, trouble for? <laughs> yeah, hey, put Jerry on it. Okay, so. Jerry, yeah, make sure you get 20. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. You know the game. Yeah, yeah. My brother, my sister, this type of stuff, what they be saying. Oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, across they, the aisle. My brother, uh, my sister. It's them and it's yeah. us. Man, fuck that. And they gonna stick together. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. So they eat lunch together. Oh, uh, shit. They talk about us together. Yeah. <laughs> so, OG Percy, show no mercy. Okay. That's how my dad cursed me. Okay. That, that, that's how it go? Yes, sir. Okay. So, y- you you battle rap? Oh, um, they tried me out. When you, my darn son, them, um, yeah, stuck me out there. Go, oh, daddy, you bet I'm not gonna get out there and do that. I don't, I don't know how to battle rap. Um, one of my sons came to me, said, Daddy, they have a battle rap thing coming to forward, and I just want to. I told him, My daddy can rap, and, and the only thing that, 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 that tripped me out all the practice he had about me, he was like, Man, my daddy can do it. Mm-hmm. And then I said, Um, oh, oh, battle rap, I, I can't rap a little bit, maybe shit. I rap so long. Um, he showed me what was going on, so I asked him, I said, okay, where the beat at? I'm old school. I need a beat. Where the beat at? He said, oh, no, Daddy, they don't, they don't use beats. Well, that ain't no rapping. How you going to rap without a beat? So he showed me what was going on, the blueprint of it. I said, they read it. I don't know if this um, stand-up poetry or what. Understand me? I don't know what they got going on, but I guess shit. I I can't even think like that. And these guys smart. I ain't got no education. These niggas taking words, synonyms, adjectives, putting things together, making they dictionaries. Yeah. Hell, I don't even got a diploma. I can't get out. Damn son, you gonna get me in there and get me embarrassed like hell? And then I go in and I find out how they getting down, how they rapping. So I just stood. I said, Dad, I told my son. He said, Oh, pop. I said, No, I ain't doing that. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. He dropped me like. Uh-oh. What's wrong with you? I just told them, you know, my daddy, man, uh, I got a reputation to uphold. Them niggas out there talking about each other, spitting each other face, calling each other bitches and hoes, and nah, I ain't finna let nobody do me like that. He said, all right, then, daddy. I said, all right, then, man, shit. Now, I do it this one time for you. Yeah. And, and don't ask me to do nothing for you. But the thing was, I, it's like the son saying, uh, daddy, we having field day, will you get in the sack race with yeah. you? Oh, hell no, on sack race. But everybody else daddy sack race. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, and I'm going to be looking. I told my daddy could sack race. Cause you see me playing football, basketball. What's a sack race? So uh, what's a battle rap? Fuck it, I tried. Um, I studied what I was supposed to do, so I went and let my son down and, and went in there and did my best. And uh, I ended up winning my first battle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I got one. See, you what? With flying colors. Yeah. You understand yeah. me? You pass with flying colors. I said, hey, I won. My son you know, asked me, and I think he set me up because he pushed me out there and he didn't come to support me. I'm like, yeah, where my son at? I said, I don't want to see you get your ass whooped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, called me the very next morning and asked me, Dad, how'd you do? I told him, you should have been there. Uh, Dad so, ain't going to never let you down. So he, he left before the battle. How'd you do it, but then let me, let me let me tell you uh, a quick story. Tales from a crib, man. Uh, I was leaving for before the battle. When I seen how things was going, yeah. I said, "Oh shit!" I ain't gonna do that. And I lied to my girlfriend. I told, her, I said, uh, "Baby, they say I ain't got a battle tonight, so you can go and go to the house." Uh, show you how God worked. Me and her, my big brother, we practically we heading out the door. We got straight to the door. He said, hey, Percy, you're my man. He said, you up next. Let's go. Let's grab it. I said, damn. Yeah, my girl, so I, thought, I, I said, I guess they changed their mind. <laughs> I was going to burn out on them. I was not going to do it. I seen how they was doing I said, nah, I didn't study for this shit. And I just get up here and do my best. And, uh, hell, I guess um, I won with flying colors, and I ended up winning the crowd. And... And I was set up for my next battle with less than a week, and uh, found out uh, that battle that night was something that they ain't never seen before in their life. I'm like, what? Y'all been doing? I been? I see thousands of battles. What? I kind of find out how am I different? Um, I had a white guy tell me, he said, Mr. Demerson, he said, you know, I'm a fan of yours on that battle rap. I'm like, she said, you know, you want to know where your fan base come from? I said, yeah, yeah, because I came from. <laughs> I'm basic mm-hmm. education, ain't got it like they got it on. He said, um. Believability. He said, you're believable. We know they just rapping. Your rapping is real. They just talking. I said, okay. So you trying to tell me they not real? 
No, nah, no, nah, it's just battle rap. They put their words together just to create a bar. Make the crowd go ooh and ah. I said, okay, shit. Well, um, being real, what kept me going, though? Yeah. So how many you did? How many battle um, did Man, you do? Man, I was under the um, the authority of goddamn Osama the Great. Shout out to Osama. I ain't never did that in over five years. Mm. I was with Osama, and, and you had to, uh, his name is what it is, Osama. What is Osama? Yeah. Osama, the one that had to, the buildings blowed up. Yeah. Mm. Osama was a bad person, you know, when it came down to people. Yeah. And uh, when it came down to Percy, this Osama uh, was just the same. I didn't understand, you know, about Osama. I'm on your battle lead, but every time I get in the ring, I'm there to get destroyed. Yeah. Now he was trying to destroy his own battle rapper. Uh, what I mean by that? Uh, but the cold thing about it, all he did was make me better and better. Just say I got a, I got a better uh, gangster report. I already seen your battle. Get a battles. report. Huh? Get a report. Get a yes. report. I yeah. got a better, better get a report. I already seen all your battles. You cold. Your niggas. Ooh. Yeah. You got get a report next. What? I can't fuck with no get a report. He cold. Yeah. I can't yeah. battle him. Why you putting me in the ring? I'm an amateur. I just started. But it's, old, it's an old summer for you. Use me for the scapegoat. Yeah. I'm going to put you on that new guy, uh, OG person. One did good, let you tear his ass up. He talk a lot of shit in that ring. Mm, I thought everybody did. Well, mine got to be a lot of shit. But uh, every time he put me in the ring, I was I never took a battle and was uh, voted to win. <laughs> I was always the underdog. Everybody like, oh, I know this one going to tear his ass up. Mm-hmm. Oh, he in trouble now. Oh, he old Yahoo. Oh, I got a battle shiesty. <gasps> shiesty? Hell yeah, I know. They're trying to get me fucked off. Then I got a battle. Who after that? Skits Corleone. Shh. I'm looking like, man, this man trying to get me destroyed. He, somebody, but uh, thank God uh, for giving to me the knowledge and the wisdom to be able to uh, perform, uh, to read, write, and recite lyrics uh, and, uh, and stand my ground. Shout out to Florida. <laughs> And stand my ground, Lord. And I did that every battle that I, uh, that I was put in front of. Uh, I ended up winning a major um, battle with um, North New Jersey, OG Moon, out there in North New Jersey, one of the top top battle rappers out there with Hitman Holler and the rest of them. Uh, OG Moon. I said, Moon? He said, you got Moon next. Uh, that's when I made it to the Super Bowl of battle rap. Mm-hmm. Uh, had became the most um, viewed battle rapper in the South. Uh, come to find out, you know, they don't listen to South Southern battle rappers. Uh, word on the street, we slow. <laughs> mm-hmm. They talk too slow. They ain't yeah. got this shit. To, oh, man. Hell, don't you, oh, country boy. Where, 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 where the country guy come from? He battle rap. What are you going to What are going to do with some um, um, old McDonald bars? <laughs> because I know y'all basic in Texas. Ain't yeah. nothing fast about them. But uh, I ended up being the um, most viewed artist in um battle rap in the South. And I didn't believe it. I'm the first one to ever hit a million views than anything in battle rap. They said they got a battle rapper in the South. They got a million views. So how, how long you was doing this for? Uh, I ended up being up doing it for about like, with Osama, how long did the, did, the, did the run last? I ain't never keep up with the run. When'd you stop? So my brother got killed. Yeah? Yeah, it was over for me. Your brother got killed when? He got murdered last year. What happened? Uh, uh, Tales from a Crip. I don't really talk about this often because um, I've been in uh, denial, rehab. It's something, it's something I've been battling with. But um, anyway, um, my brother came in here one night. I was sitting right here and he looked around the corner and he said, Hey, hey Percy. He said, uh, come go down to the club with me, man. Go do some um, cripping with me tonight. I said, shit. Man, you 50, so where you going? He, man, he told me the clubs he was going to, and I told him, nah, bro, I don't, I don't mess around. I know what I'm worth now. I don't think I'm too good, but those are not clubs. Those are saloons, man. Uh, yeah. number of trouble down there, bro. Uh, but we can put on our, some gators and some put on some nice shirts and get clean and, uh, and go be 50 tonight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Step to the grown men's club. I go down there with you. But um, now nah, I'm not going down there with the tennis shoes, gangster, and, and, and everybody on some bullshit. Nah, I can't do that. And the club he told me he was going to um, that night, uh, it's impossible for you to go to that club, bro. 
not that night. Yeah. Uh, but you know, people get comfortable when they've been going places for years, and older folks feel like, hey, hey man, I'm grown. You know what I'm yeah. I don't worry about them youngsters. You know what I've been going to the club all my life. Well, uh, we know that, but uh, they don't. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And, uh, that night, I asked him about, about five, about, about three or four times, uh, bro, don't go down there, man. Yeah. Fuck that club. That shit ain't, that ain't nothing. We just step over here and go to another club. And uh, uh, he decided he wanted to go cripping. And uh, he said, bro, he ran to the door again. He said, sure you don't want to go with me? And I'll never forget. I, it's still sitting there. And, excuse me. He asked me to um, get him something. He came back to his thing. He said, man, you sure? He still right there. He said, sure you don't want to go with me? I said, bro, I'll wait for you to get back. Matter of fact, I roll up a blunt. When you come back, we'll sit on the porch and finish your birthday up. Go get... He said, give me some smell goods. So I reached up there and I said, here you go. It's the only thing I got. I, got, I said, I got some tiger wood. <laughs> mm. He said, oh, shit. I said, yeah. I said, don't, don't kill it. Went over there and, you know, he, he sh- 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 yeah. shot the guy. And um, I told him I'll wait for him to get back. Um, matter of fact, I told him I used an excuse because I didn't want to go down there. And I said, well, um, you know, we got to go to church in the morning because the next morning my mom's a minister. You know. I always support her every time. It's her time to preach. So I uh, tell my brother, man, if I go out tonight, shit, I ain't going to make it to church in the morning. So I'm going to go, you know, I'll just wait for you to get back. And I had my clothes from the cleaners, which is still on that side. Um, suit still in the bag. <laughs> uh, never been taken out. And I waited for my brother all night to come back. You know, he never showed up. So, you know, I said to myself, oh, this nigga, bro. He got drunk, got us some pussy at the room. So he laying up, kicking it. Um. Uh, so big brother ain't come home. And I waited all night for him that night. For some reason, I waited all night and uh, uh he ain't never show up. So I uh around this time, <laughs> eleven something, you know, I knew something wasn't right. I said, Man, bro, don't never okay, it's eleven o'clock. Uh, I knew something was wrong because, you know, he uh he didn't take his car that night. You know, you know, when you go in there, you know, ask mom, can I get the good car tonight? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna leave my yeah. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna go home, let you drive it, take care of it, break it back. Here's mom, the good car tonight. You know, she gave it to him for his birthday. And uh, around eleven something, I started getting weary. I like, man, bro, I ain't calling. Let me call this boy, see where he is. Eleven something. Well, I got weary when church started at nine. You know, my mom ended up having to call somebody to come take her to church because she has to preach. Um. Uh, one thing about my big brother, he loved his mom. He'll never do nothing to upset her. Yeah. He's always on point with her. And uh, to be in her car and knowing she got to preach the next day and he's not here, he wouldn't have never did that for nothing in the world. Uh, so uh, I did something that my big brother don't like. He don't like Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> he old school. He don't like Facebook. He don't bother about it. He real quiet. He just mm-hmm. sit back and you know, just sit up under me all day. Uh, that's what he do. Um. Uh, and when he do that, uh, I, I always, that nigga, that's my reminder. When he do that, um, he's at every one of my battles. I practice on him in battle rap. I use him for the punching bag. Mm. <laughs> Even, I know he don't want to hear this shit. And then I, I remember one, <laughs> one day, uh, I said, bro, check this round out. I know you busy. He said, I know, but you're going to do it anyway. Now, that was my sparring bag. That's my punching bag. AD was my punching bag. Um. Uh, he let me practice on him, so um, I had got a call, man, and I told somebody I was looking for my brother. I went on um, a live, and I said, have anybody seen um, my big brother AD? I know he's going to be mad at me, but shit, just now, you know, now I think he just got too fucked up, and he sleeps somewhere. Um, he ain't got one of them because he had that green bottle. Somebody told me that's tequila or something, and I just knew he was out of there. He probably just knocked out. Uh, so I had got the call. I told somebody, hey, y'all seen my brother APP? And they said, what kind of car you in? I said, he's in a red car, man. Not in a little sports car, man. Uh, somebody said, no. Um, you know, and I had somebody connect. And I just asked the lady, said, can you go down there by that club? Because my brother probably got too toe up. He probably sit back in that car, sleep like him. Uh, knocked out. Because uh, he won't drive away. He'll let windows up, let the seat back. He felt like he too intoxicated to make a move. So, um, uh, uh, I'm trying to get through this shit, man, best yeah. way I can. But anyway, yeah. um, I had got the call. Um, can you give me that? You see anything ringing over there? I don't know. That's all right. I got, I got a better deal. It's a little better deal. 
It's right okay, here. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, I got the call. Okay. I got the call. And um, somebody told me, you know, I sent a lady about it. She said, I don't see nobody at this club. And so, um, me and my little brother, I call my little brother. My little brother, he's a, you know, he's a musician for a church, you know. I called my little bro. I said, little bro, I've been calling big bro number. He ain't answering. He said, what? And, and my little brother was on the organ at church, and i never forget. I had got a bad feeling, man. For some reason, something, um, I was sitting there, man. I felt like a, a fucking, I swear to God, I felt, I was sitting like over on the edge, and I felt a cold wind. Bro. And I said, who the fuck opened up the door? And like the door, but it had blowed open or something. And I, and I felt just a cold, a cold shit you know, come by me, like, you know, some wind blew by me. And I was sitting right there, and I said, damn. So I got up real fast and go, man, somebody left the door, and I opened up, and the door wasn't no door open. I said, what the fuck was that? <laughs> no, for real. Didn't pay it no attention. Uh, my little brother got out of church, and he came straight to the house, and he said, uh, I said, bro, bro, still ain't came, man. You know, that ain't big, bro. I said, I just hit, put something out on Facebook. And me and my little brother, we were sitting there, and uh, never forgot that's when the call came. On my little brother's phone, you know, the brother said, uh, he looked at me. He said, uh, okay, Percy, let's go. I said, he got him, huh? He said, we got him. I said, all right, let's go. And um, we was on our way to where they said they spotted the car yet. Didn't tell us what was going on. Just to get down to the car, see, go get mama car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So she'll quit wearing so much. Uh, and so we was getting halfway there, and my little brother got another phone call. And i never forget, uh, he picked up the phone, like, yeah, we on our way right now. And he's like, yeah, and then, and then he stopped. I'm like, you tell me, tell me, we finna pull up. I went, I'm over there talking shit, and then my little brother looked at me, he gave me his look. I looked at him, and I like, looked at him, I said, I said, nah, man. And me and him stared at each other like this for minutes. I said, nah. Hell, nah. No. He say, let's go see for ourselves. I say, go see what? That man don't bother nobody. It ain't nothing to go see. Yeah. That man go to work every day. That man take care of his mom, his kids, his dogs. <laughs> Sit, t- take his kids fishing, hiking. He got grandkids. A daughter finna graduate. Uh, that man come home, look like he... Uh, and clammed under the house every day. That's how hard this guy works. Yeah. He never miss a day. Uh, I ain't seen him kick a cat, man. That man was harmless. Yeah. That man was harmless. One of the best men, role models. That's why I'm alive so much today, because I had a big brother that led me the right way when I knew I was going the wrong way. How much older is he? Just one year. Okay. Mm, but he act like he's 20 years yeah, yeah, older than yeah, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Just one year, but he never, he never, I had, um, had just did a live about my big brother called Brother Love the week before. Brother Love, you know, and I had all three of my brothers sitting around. I was talking about how I love all my brothers and nobody gives you, everybody want to say something about you when you're gone, but I was giving my brothers their flowers and, uh, not even knowing that next week my big brother be gone. Um, uh, but anyway, we showed up down there, man. I was fully dressed, and I looked, man, and the only thing, I said, oh, shit. <sighs> I took a deep breath and said to myself, it's the police. Police got it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Why the fuck was I, man? God damn it, Dave. You had me thinking something there, little bro. And then we went around the club, and I seen the car park, and I seen the police cars flashing. I said, okay, this nigga, he's going to go to jail. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, damn. The fuck was he looking at me like that? It made me think something was wrong. And, uh, when I came around that corner of the park, I seen the worst thing in my life, man. I seen yellow tape. I couldn't even. Shit, I got out the car before it stopped rolling, man. I down there skinned my legs up, everything. Gravel, I crawled through that gravel, man, trying to kiss me. I was like, hey, yellow tape for what? I said, look, bro, that's yellow tape. That's yellow tape, and, and for some reason I had lost it when I seen the yellow tape because it's so much just started. Man, I'm like hell no, nah. no, nah, bro. 
Yeah, no, and I seen all these officers, you know, standing around because on the freeway getting out, you just see two police cars, the red car. You don't see no tape. I get around there seeing cameras, police reporting news and yellow tape. And I'm like, no, nah, bro. But they only do that with somebody did. No, nah, bro, no. Nah. You know, first thing I hear, well, this is far as you can go. You can't come on the crime scene. Y'all got me. Hey, man. I started looking at my mom's car, and I, and I seen my big brother sitting in that car, man. And all I try to do is get to him. No. Man, call the ambulance something. Can y'all call the ambulance? Anything. Um. Uh, didn't know that it was way past it. Um, and the sad thing about it, uh, by the time we made it to my brother, he ain't even been dead an hour. Mm. He was sitting in that car fighting that long. Fighting? Nobody nobody came, no nothing. Nobody called the ambulance police, nothing? Uh, shout out to the old white man that was just right walking by and seen him sitting in the car. Riddled with bullets. <laughs> wow. Riddled with bullets. Uh, that man was harmless. Uh, you could have hit him with a cat or uh, a stick or something. He ran up uh, bullets. My brother don't even make nobody that mad. Who'd he go to the club with? Himself. Mm-mm. Look, like he always do. Every weekend. Everybody in there know him. <clears throat> but like I told you, but them youngsters. Uh, what that little guy be doing, you know, they, you know, um, it was just all type of... Um, why this could have happened? Why this could have happened? Uh, I hit the streets running. You know, I, like, I was trying to find them niggas before the police did. Did the police find them? No. Nah. They did, but they didn't. Uh, they did find them, but um, huh. let them tell it. Didn't have enough every this to prosecute them. Yeah. So what y'all going to do? Leave them out here for us to kill them? It's the set up. Uh, y'all know they done it, but we can't, according to the law, we don't have enough to, we have nobody to put the gun in his hand. Cause I've been sitting here waiting on y'all. I could have been the done the job, lady. You get what I'm saying? Easy work. Easy work. And they know it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I had lost my composure for a week or two. And just, you know, I found that, um, you know, the law don't change for nobody. And um, sad thing to say, um, uh, it's set up to the point like that, that um, if that's how you, you know, you break it, you break it, it don't matter. Yeah. Let them do their job. But what about, what happens when they're not doing their job? Right. You know what I'm saying? So leave us, you know, sit here and look crazy. Uh, uh, I'm the type of person, when you put yourself in position, I don't give a fuck if you're my brother, mama, sister, cousin, and you get yourself killed off like that, you did that to yourself. Uh, he didn't do that. No, uh, I, I, I'm man enough to admit that, um, it's a hard pill to swallow. Um, and I took off head first, you know, like everybody else would. But then uh, I just thank God he gave me enough level head to show me the big picture, not the small picture. Uh, the sad picture is I warned him. I don't go down there. Hell no. Nah, fuck yeah. that shit. That's what ate yeah. me up for. Yeah. He didn't listen. That ate me up, you know, and I, I wallowed in that for a minute. But um, make a long story short, <sighs> I had to get through that like a subject and a predicate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> make a long story short, no, his, his killers was uh, but they were left out here to uh, defend for themselves. Yeah. Uh, uh, I had to deal with the, um, we don't have enough evidence, but we know who did it, but we just can't um, put him, um, we just can't put him on, um, um, you know, the law is the law. You know, uh, like the detective told me, um, I can um, pick him up, take him down for it. But, uh, yeah, they're just going to throw it out. I don't have enough, you know, to yeah. fight in court with it. Right. But I'm sure, you know, I'm, you know, 99.9%, I got who I, I want. I know you do. Shit, you can follow me around enough to find him. Because you, you didn't do your job. And I was doing your job for you. Yeah. Uh, you know, the closer we got to him, you know, you know, I started making them say, my thing is, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, I'm going to make them call y'all. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have to call y'all pretty soon. But uh, I couldn't see myself going back to jail, you know. You know? And then the sad thing about it, uh, 
I did a lot of game bang, game riding for these niggas, kicking it with these niggas. Then when it came down to um, um, me changing, you know, growing up and changing my ways of life, um, I'm hit with it. You know, something that'll just draw you back into where you came from, you know. Um, I couldn't even let my brother Death draw me back to where I came from. Right. Rest in peace to him, man. I'm sorry. Rest in peace, to AD, man. Yep. Um, now, nah, real talk, good man, and he deserved everything. Um, God got for him. Right. Yeah. So, um, while you was in jail, you went you you went fifty two and zero. Oh yeah, on, on that was just on one unit. On one unit. Yeah, that's just on one unit. That was on um Jordan R. Lindsay unit. The uh, um the most racist unit you ever land on. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's like a Ku Klux Klan unit. You don't you don't set up black. Big oh. Let me end this with my big brother. Um, I had to accept that my big brother um, made a choice that cost him his life. Um, and I knew that um, the choice he made, I could have helped him make it, couldn't change his mind. But um, I'll never show up to um, an Indian party and I'm a cowboy. Mm -hmm. No, that's just throwback. You hear me? Yeah. Never go to an Indian party, and they doing in this cowboy. Well, that night, my brother went out that night. It was blood night yeah. that night. It was crucial. It's, it's like a holiday. It's like a, a spiritual, um, a ritual in Fort Worth. Fort Worth is the only part of town that got gangbangers got their own holidays, and they celebrate them like it's Christmas. <laughs> you go through and be like, God damn. All these, oh, yeah, families of them. Um, they got, um... M multiple sets of different bloods out yes, here. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, you got East Pyrus, Tree Tops, uh, Fruit Tops, um, 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 Bounty Hunters, um, Troma Streets. There's some bloods when it used to be be that many, but um, oh, you, you never know it <laughs> until they day come and you be like, what the, you know? Yeah, but I was I, one time hell. I thought I was at the Red Sea. There was so right, many of. Them. I right. said, God, nigga, I thought it was some shit. Man, we outnumbered. Right. But uh, make a long story short, that would it looked like the, at the club that night. Mm -hmm. My brother went down there. The sad thing, um, he broke many rules that night. Good man. But you're breaking the rules, bro. Mm -hmm. what, um, what rules did he break? Number one rule. You don't show up a cowboy at the Indian mm -hmm. party. Uh-huh. You don't show up a crip on Blood Night Out at the club when you know that's all going to be there. That's one rule. The worst rule he broke was this one. Oh, he wore it. Died with it around mm. his neck. Uh. I looked inside the car. My brother's head was down like this. He had a cigarette in one hand. <laughs> and CD still playing. And one foot outside the car, though, was a cigarette. Uh, I've seen a lot of stuff. I investigated a lot of murders, my damn self. Uh, and I noticed one thing: for him to have a cigarette in his hand and his music still playing, he didn't know what was going to happen. And as for his feet to be outside the car, he was smoking a cigarette. Uh, he just sitting there listening to his music. <laughs> yeah, didn't even see it coming. Uh, well, I thank God. You know, the quicker, you know. But uh, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't go down there and. Uh, and let this right here get you killed. I'd be damned. Um, I knew if I wouldn't, um, I had I had it in my heart for 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 months. Damn, I should have just went with them. They wouldn't have fucked with him. Damn, if I'd have been with them, they wouldn't have so done So if you went with them, why you think they wouldn't have fucked with them if you was there? No sir, no sir. I said I I I I, I lived with that in my heart for months. Yeah. If I had went with them, yeah. they wouldn't have fucked with him. Why did I think that? I thought that. Yeah. For months, and then guess what I thought after that? I said, if I'd have went with him, just been two dead niggas in the car. Yeah. How about that? And I believe that because the way he was attacked, he didn't see it coming. Guess what? Right. It had been we didn't see it coming. Mm -hmm. So um, me being there that night wouldn't have, wouldn't have done nothing. Uh, and I had to lay that down. I had to accept that. You know what? You right, God. <laughs> when I'm going to win. You're not going to win this. <laughs> when he says your time to go, that's what he mean. It was your time, bro, you know. I was just sad that he had to go like that because I don't think he deserved to go like that. But say, hey, 
No. But anyway, back to, let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's um, ride on out. Lay in the mood. Um, let's go. No, we good. Yeah, yeah so I'm um, sorry for your loss again, man. But mm. um, 52 and 0 on the most racist unit well, in Ferguson, right? You said? Oh, no, 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 no. no. I didn't go 52 and 0 in Ferguson. Oh. I probably went like. I like 25 on Ferguson. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, uh, the most racist unit? Shh. Like, dro- <laughs> like jo- dropping a chicken in a line, then, then, then run around. <laughs> That's what a black man look like yeah, when you drop right, him right, off. Right. Of- Woo, what? Uh, a place that you never thought that you see white folks run is a prison. Mm-hmm. The majority is blacks and Mexicans. Yeah, that's the culture down there. Uh, but um, the white folks got their way, you know, putting their kind up, you know, to protect them. Uh, saying that to say this, we're not going to send y'all to, you keep acting up, I'll send your ass to a unit. White boy, like, no, no. Other than it, you know, they let them do their time over there around each other where they're comfortable because uh, uh, white boys are prey down there yeah. in prisons. You hear me? Uh, some of them. Yeah. Not all of them. On that unit, um, none of them. Yeah. I never been nowhere where white boys wasn't scared of black folks when it came down to being locked up. No white boy want to be locked up. Shit, no brother want to be locked up. But brothers act like they more used to it than a white folks. White boy, but I gotta get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> niggas like them. Shit, I'm here now. Might as well. Yeah. What the fuck do that? But anyway, um, that was the unit where I walked on. I seen more black black guys with black eyes. Damn, they over fighting like a motherfucker over her. Mm-hmm. Come to find out the white boys one gave them black eyes. Wow. You gotta be kidding. I looked around and said, man, I said, yeah, white boy whoop. Uh, uh, no disrespect to no my Caucasian cu- culture. Um y'all was raised racist, racist, and I was raised one way. Um uh, and I not not lived on that. Mm, and I think it was a racist comment, but shit, in my house, but hell, when I found out what they was raised on about my culture, shit, and that little comment wasn't nothing. My daddy just taught me, uh, he said, can't no white boy whoop no black man. And for some reason, I, looked, I never, I believed that shit. Mm-hmm. I was raised on it. Uh, don't you know what happened if, uh, if a white boy whoop a black man? See me, let that white boy whoop you. <laughs> you know, it was like that was an insult to your yeah, color. Right, right. Now, that's one thing, man, that white boy told his ass, what? Man. That nigga weak as hell. They gonna let... clown you all, Hello? all the time. They ain't gonna let that uh, go. You out of there. Yeah. You don't get no yeah. more breath. Yeah. You can't say nothing. nothing. I don't care how many black guys yeah. you whoop after this. Yeah. Well, you, shit, you didn't do that to that white boy. Yeah, white boy yeah. drug your ass. Yeah, they gonna always gonna say that, man. That white boy fucked you up, what? though. <laughs> 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 they go, they ain't like gonna, you said they go, they go, that's how they go. Say. That white boy like, done fucked you up. I don't care what you say. <laughs> they don't care if you yeah. did. Yeah, you 52 and 0, yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. they don't that, care nothing about that. They gonna say that white boy. Yeah. That, that's yeah. over. Yeah, that, that's your over. reputation is gone bye bye. Yeah. They gonna be clown. Any argument, any disagreement, <laughs> shit. That shit's gonna come up. Yeah. Your toughness, your t- hey, give me that. Yeah. They done snatched it. Give me a tough man card. Yeah. Oh, nigga, but I'm, I'm big like OG Percy used to be. Well, shit. Now, after that white boy slapped the shit out you and that child <laughs> beat the brakes out. But anyway, um, when I walked in and I seen the eyes in these white boys, and I was like, oh, these white boys ain't scared of you, nigga. Yeah. Oh, y'all, y'all, oh, y'all, oh, y'all tough, huh? Look. Oh yeah, they, oh yeah, they tough. <laughs> the motherfuckers tough. I swear to God, I ran into some some tough man. Shout out to my white boys. I I called a respect for them, and I found out whoever lied to you and told y'all can't no white boy whoop no nick. Somebody lied to you. Yeah. Hell yeah. What? Uh, I don't care what they said. I know what I seen. There wasn't no race um wars in there. Most like definitely. Fights, Most um, definitely. Um, riots. Um. Um, that unit was real, real, real good on um, keeping a hand on things. Tales from a crib, man. I had to, um, I had got, um, I watched the laws, you know, over on that unit, man, do do so, do do black guys so wrong, man. I was like, damn. I just know my time coming. They going to get me. They kept saying, they going to get you, because they going to, he said, be the ones at night that come with the black gloves on, and they'll take you out there, and they'll beat the shit out of you. I said, ooh. He said, them police. Well, over here. 
I don't never see no police over here tonight that'll do some shit like that. He said, don't nobody see him till they come get him. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mr. Um, Demerson can you know, take, call you out there and step out there and they'll fuck with you and get you to buck up and they'll beat the shit out of you. They didn't play over there. Um, I had I grown to, uh, to learn my respect from the white man as far as power. But um, uh, I grew up uh, hearing about racism, not experiencing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to tell you, it's a difference when it's in your face. <laughs> Say, bro, it's a difference when it's in your face. And uh, it stepped in my face as soon as I came off the bus. As soon as I got off the bus, my name, I'm riding down the bus with everybody. We on our way to prison. Where we going? John R. Lindsay Unit. Jacksboro, um, Texas. How long you was going for the, on this? I day? just did nine months. Nine months. That's okay. it. Shit. Let me tell you something over there, man. Nine nine days seem like nine years. Yeah. You be like, man, I got to do shh. The longest nine, that's the longest time I, ever, I felt like I had ever did in my life. Um, due to the situation I was in, you know. It's, it's, it's different when it's in your face, man. When you got to look at a white man that don't, hey, they give you that look that you only see on um, movies, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, that you only see on Roots. That's, hey, you know what? I've seen that look before. Oh, shit, well, hold on. Fuck that snap. I, I seen that. He was whooping kid, cool the kid to the ass when he was looking like that. Yeah, that's the look i seen. But um, that's saying the ones that don't curl. That'll take you and burn your ass to a stake or, or take you out of Emmett Till your ass somewhere. Uh, just when you thought them days was over, shh. I went to Lindsay Unit. I was, <laughs> I was sitting back 400 years. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Shit, yeah. Uh, I try to come home and tell the young kids all the time, racism, slavery still go, exists, y'all. Uh. It's not slavery. Um, they just changed. They got, they got to change it up and fix it up a little bit for y'all. Um, so not to sound, you know, so everybody can get think that they getting their equal rights, which is what Percy on. Um, well, you know, um, shit. Don't call them um, fuck. We can't keep calling them slaves, man. We gotta come up with something else. Shit. You know, times are changing, Jim. They're catching on. Let's um, shit. Call them offenders. That'll work. Offenders. Take yeah, get that slave off of there. She had slaves to us. You no, know, Jim, they're getting on our ass now. They're they fucking with us. Uh, so, um, what's, what about the plantation seeds? What you change that shit too? What are we gonna call that? Let's call it prison. Fuck it. Take the plantation off. Call it prison. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy, you smart. Um, uh, saying it to say this. Um, uh, the names have changed, but the rules ain't. Yeah. It still exists. Uh, I try to tell these youngsters, go on, go down there, thank you, with your little jewelry shiny. And then as soon as you get down there, hey, you, know, you ain't gonna come down here all the time. You gonna come down here flashing. Yeah, come around. Get, get, get the goddamn teeth out your mouth. Go stand over there and get that shit. Um, John, shave him. Get him to go over and shave your hair off like it's wool. <laughs> like you a fucking sheep. Yeah, no hair in that prison? At all. It's forbidden. Birds and mustaches are forbidden. You won't get to eat with all that. You yeah. to shave all that shit. I want all. Oh, oh, you made that up. You won't get to shave and trim this shit up there in the mirror. You better get in there and uh, make it, that it, motherfucker it, smooth as fuck. Is that why you don't got no hair on your face? You well, used you know, to it? I, I, uh, I'm used to it. And plus, um, I can't grow. I, I got, um, I'm like my dad. My dad didn't have no mustache and beard. <laughs> yeah. He had a little mustache, but he didn't have no beard or nothing. Like, Daddy, why shit don't grow? Like, yours will grow? Yeah, I see you got a couple. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I got alopecia. So I got it. Yeah, I could get it on my face, all that, in my head, all, everything. Well, so I'm gonna have spots. Well, hell, yeah. I got spots because my hair yeah. won't grow in the yeah. motherfuckers. Uh, why is that? I don't know. Just like my hair when I try to get braids in my shit. Oh, it's, just like when you try to get that curl. Just <laughs> had to bring the curl up. Just had to bring the curl up. <laughs> <laughs> that was a night. Nice Bars. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, I, I, yo, what's the craziest thing you've seen? And during your time incarcerated, shit, a white boy that didn't know that he was a nigga that didn't know that he was black. What you mean? No, shout out to why, my boy. Why Blue. you say that? <laughs> why I say that? Yeah. Okay, okay. Why yeah. I say that? I like that. That's a good. One. Why yeah. you say that? Yeah. Stick to that every time. Yeah. Uh, 
I say that because I went down here and I met the craziest thing in my life, man. I met a black guy that thought he was white. And he wasn't Uncle Ruckus. Somebody knocked us over. That's me. No, that's me. Okay, me right okay here. let's go. Oh, um, sorry. Yeah, I met a I met a white and I talked to him. I just see the white the black guy, you know, he hang with the white boys regularly, you know. She you know, I don't got no, I'm, I'm in prison, I, I stay to myself and I mind my business on. I be um the inmates become my TV. Like that's what I look at prison like I'm like, Wake up, see who, what, what, who, somebody, look, he cleaning up today. Oh, uh, he going to the shower. Oh, they finna fight, you know. Uh, the white boy, Blue, they said, what's the white boy name? The black guy, they name Blue. Uh, I ain't never say nothing to Blue. You know, I ain't fuck with Blue. Blue, you know, do your own thing. Blue seemed cool. But I would always see Blue sitting at the table with the white boys. Mm -hmm. I ain't my shit. Now, hang with who you want to. Uh. But I, I speak to Blue, and Blue will give me... A, a white boy ass, no, nigga. Hey. <laughs> Goddamn, nigga, um, say what's up, you know, black yeah, man, yeah, yeah. right on, yeah. what's cracking on, peace, anything. Blue gave, yeah, that part. <laughs> like, he caught it the first time. Yeah. But anyway, that was Blue, that's how Blue would answer me. So one day I'll never forget. Uh, I was coming, coming in the place from Child, and Blue was still sitting there by himself. I'm finna get to know who I would talk to Blue. I said, What's going down, Blue? Where you from, cuz? You know, I'm from somewhere. He said Percy. He said my name like that. I like. I said, "Why the fuck you talk like that, nigga?" He said, "Talk like what?" Oh, so you don't hear yourself. So me and Blue, um, I got to know Blue, and me and Blue got to talking. Then Blue fucked me up one day. I said, "Hey, Blue, um," he said, "Percy, all oh, this is new to me." I said, "What? Gin in jail?" I said, "Shit, well, welcome." <laughs> I have been here before, you know? Um, he said, being around black people. Wow. Um, let me give y'all a little story about Blue, what Blue finished telling me real quick. When, um, Blue said he was raised down in the country, real deep part of the country right there in, um, in, in, um, in between La Mesa, Texas. It's all, it's all the, the, um, 10 people town. Yeah. White folks. Um, I guess, um, his mama caught jungle fever one night and decided, you know, <laughs> slip and slide. You understand me? Oh. Never told nobody, you know, um. Y'all remember the, the movie Life? Yep. Remember when y'all yeah, seen Eddie, that? Eddie and Martin. Okay, get it. Yeah. Remember when the uh, the warden came out with that baby and said, Man, who yeah. got damn who, babies yeah. this? Walking yeah, in, well. And they all said it's my baby. Yeah, that's my baby, Paul. Yeah, that's my baby, Paul. I'm the pappy, Paul. I'm the pappy. That part. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's what they were doing around there when that baby came out. And that little cousin, that, who the fuck? <laughs> this, and what they did with Blue, they hid Blue. The family hid him. The hospital, uh, yeah. Uh, the family, you said the saddest thing, the worst thing seen. That's this, this, and uh, they hid him from who he was. Um, Blue had to come up around the way in the trailer. Hello. We can't let them know the goddamn Blue Nick got some, you know, got, got 1% of that blood in him. They looking at Blue with Blue Mix. That child is not pure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's their word. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's not pure. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's crazy. Uh, well, Blue think he is. Why? Because that's all Blue see. Yeah. That's all they come around, you know, the wounds, you know, the, the one, the family that kept Blue a secret from society. What, uh, was, what was Blue in jail for? Some bullshit. That's not <laughs> <laughs> Blue got 15 years for some, Blue, they gave you 15 years? Well, he said, Percy, I didn't know. I said, well, you know, um, ignorant to the law is your fault. I didn't know a lot of time. And I got my ass jammed just like you, Blue. Say, Blue, um, they gonna do you that because who you is. Well, I'm, and they fucked me up. I said, well, I'm not black. Wow. Let me, hold on. You showed them a mirror? No, let me make sure there's nobody else here what you said, Blue, because your ass just fucked. What you mean? And that's when the story I'm giving you is the story he gave me. Yeah. Uh, just say you're in a racist town. They said, we know, we know that old baby Jesus. We're looking for baby Jesus in the manger. Mm hmm they looking for old blue <laughs> in this city. So we know it's, 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 it's one down here. Where? You know, he showed up at the schools. You know, that type of shit. 
And word on the street, Blue had been moved out, but Blue had Blue been um had been incarcerated inside his own house for years, decades, centuries. Until Blue got out to do something that was petty as a motherfucker, got caught up in that city, and they slammed Blue. Now who, now who child is this? What did he do? Um, he was out past curfew. That's 15 years, nigga. Get him out of here. 15, uh, out past curfew. Hey, wait a minute. 15, get him out of like more than them. Life, we ain't do nothing. Oh, man. Hello. That's how Blue felt. For, for what? Blue, the crime you in here for, you ain't, you ain't did nothing. Uh, yeah. Tell us from the crib, man. Make a long story short. One time I had got into it. I had to break, break Blue. Uh, I said, Blue, let me talk to you, brother. Uh, I hate to break the news to you, man. You black. Yeah. Know what Blue told me in a sincere way? He said, Percy, no, I'm not. Oh, you me? Oh, you for real? Blue. You're not blue, you're black. <laughs> he, he was dead serious. Man, bro, you asked me what's the crazy, that's the craziest thing. Yeah. For somebody to actually think in their heart, in their mind, mm -hmm. in their soul, because the way they raised, this is who I am and what I am. And don't know it until one day you adventure outside the outside the city and find out. Oh, you just nothing there, Blue. <laughs> that, that's gonna hurt your feelings. Now, uh, uh, welcome to our world. Mm -hmm. Hey, you ever ate some chitlins? No, no, Percy. I don't eat that chitlins. Let me ask you this. I love um, that. Go ahead. Have you? Did you run across any bloods while you was in jail? Oh. Jail and prison is the battlefield for gangs. Okay. Uh, every time. I, I have been put in lines then. I didn't been put in spots where ain't nothing but bloods. I didn't have to fight fight for myself, you know, with no help. With crip niggas around that weren't even saying they was crips until they seen me get down with some bloods. Uh, I didn't have to um, Yes, sir. Um, that's that's my thing. When I was in prison, I gang bang. Mm -hmm. I didn't do too much banging on the streets. Right. Um. See hell. I I, I was in jail for bullshit. <laughs> Not the shit in the streets. Um. Uh, but to go in jail with these colored shoestrings on, blue shoestrings on, with with big old crip rolling across your neck, five dudes on this side of your neck, crip across this side of your neck. Um. The letters on my back as big as my backside say Crip Biggest Day on it. Crip all on my arm. I got Crips everywhere. I got shit everywhere. I'm hit up like a, a subway in Harlem. You dig what I'm saying? Um, and they is too. Mm -hmm. Shit. You thought you was doing something. Get blood over goddamn on your face. Oh my God. Oh no. Shit no. This nigga got Bloody Mary written across his face. It ain't that goddamn serious. Shit on. Um, but um, yes sir. Um. Bloods was my rivals, and uh, uh, I never, I never really just. I'm trying to think, no, I ain't really just had. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Tell me, <laughs> tell me, crib man. Um, I was on John R. Lindsay one time, and um, I was on. I had gave y'all a rundown of what the system was ran by, and I was in there, and I, I got put in the line then with a whole bunch of bloods. Uh, I was like, damn. Uh, the place was so quiet. It seemed like they just put you in a closed cask when you went off in there. And, uh, everything was quiet and dim. Uh, I seen the white boys doing their thing. And so I seen the blood. I heard niggas say, so whoa, What's popping blood? So I said, like, God damn. I just said that shit. And then come they blood, they start hitting each other up, locking bees. I said, God damn, there were two blood niggas. Oh, there were three. Oh, I guess that's another one. I think they're going to eight right now. <laughs> God damn. I don't see no Crips in there. I don't need nobody no Crips in here. They is, but they're over in the bed, God damn it, doing this, reading magazines. They know who you was? Look, look. They yeah. looking at that girl. Yeah. Shit, they, they, they busy. <laughs> Ain't that shit. That's what them Crips doing. That nigga, yeah, he Crip. He, he in trouble. We already in trouble because of the fucking white boys. Yeah. Why the fuck I got to be in trouble because of my own kind, too? Yeah. Hello? They knew who you was? 
Or uh, nah, I, was, I, 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 I made my name for myself. As um, soon as I hit General Lindsay, you know. Hell yeah. Two days, one day in. Well, for some reason, my name hit Lindsay Union before I got there. Uh, as soon as I came off the bus, I was riding on the bus with everybody. And, uh, they make everybody get off the bus and stand there, and they do inventory counting. And they man said, Percy Demerson. No, I'm like, that's me. I ain't got to wait. <laughs> I get out the line with the rest of them. I'm like, okay. He said, um, come here, can you step right there to those offices and go. I was like, damn, I ain't never been the first on the list for some shit. I ain't got to wait no long lives. I'm like, person. Like, I was in the road for the call some names, and y'all stepped this way. And I hit off the bus. And when he stepped, he said, he hit about like six officers came over. And he said, yeah, go right there with them gentlemen. I said, yes, sir. I'm gone. I walked back there, and they took me in a room. <sighs> he had a paperwork in his hand. He looked at me again. He said, um, Mr. Jimson, are we going to have a problem out of you? That's why I just pulled up with everybody else. <laughs> I don't do shit. Uh, so I'm going to ask you again. We're going to have a problem out of you. I said, no, sir. He said, I'm going to let you know right now. We're not going to lock you up. We'll put the hands on you over here. Uh -huh. I looked in. My, my defense came on. I had to play a little chess. I said, oh, okay. I said, he said, you hear me? I said, yeah, <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. He said, get him on out of here. Took me back and put me in the line with the rest of the guys. I said, God damn. And my partner said, hey, what they want, man? I said, oh, shit, ain't want nothing. <laughs> Just threw me. I wonder, where did that come from? Because um, your reputation beats you here. Mm -hmm. uh, for me to be there and I sit there and I watch these guys lock bees, yell blood, yell blood, this, yell power root, this, yell blood, this. I'm like, ah. Oh. Damn, I wish I had some motherfucking headphones or something in this motherfucker. These niggas killing me. Because um, I was CCI back then. Uh, that's crip crazy insane. I wasn't, I, I was out of there. I was on that. And these motherfuckers is turning me up. I don't want to let a nigga wear red around me. Hell no. Mm -hmm. That's how I used to be. I used to be fucked up like that. Uh, for the hear the niggas yell blood too? No, oh, hell no. Where was it? I used to say, it's the blood over there. Oh, we finna go find him, run him down something. But say, now I'm in there and uh, I ain't never seen this part of the game. Everybody, you uh, know, they were so disrespectful. I'd be standing like you standing. They'd be like, what's up, blood? What's popping, blood? Like, oh, damn, come on. If they see me sitting here, they don't give a fuck why you think. They ain't doing it. <laughs> they putting it in your face, nigga. They did that to you? Shit, yeah. Uh, uh. You murder word blood niggas, look, man. Uh, crip niggas can't think, you know what I mean? Gang members can't think just because you're in the gang, you the tough one. Why you think they in there? They feel the same way you feel. They the tough ones, too. Mm -hmm. You hear me? They didn't make the same decisions you didn't make. They just picked a different team to play for. Understand me? So, um, that what comes with the game. But, yeah, they used to do this. So, one day, uh, they used to lock up and sue woo me all night, buy me and everything. I'm in yeah, my fucking man. I, shit. Excuse me, give me some fucking tissue or something. I'll take some tissue. Fuck. Sticking to my goddamn ears. I don't want to hear this shit all night. You're killing me. Niggas know I'm crippling. They just. So one day they playing domino. The blood these dudes that take playing domino. And the main blood they be talking, acting like he just studied fucking with me with this blood shit all night on. They playing dominoes. And I seen him call the white. He told the little white boy, he said, Yeah, man, here you go, yeah. Domino. I told your little bitch ass. That little white boy said, what you say, man? You call me a bitch? Oh, no, you didn't. The little bit skinny white boy. Said, oh. So I looked at the little white boy. I said, look at him. I said, oh, he put his shoes on, too. Oh. Said, okay, okay. Oh, shit. Now I'm doing this like the other crib niggas doing. <laughs> shit, something finna go down. So I'm looking. I'm like, okay. Now I'm finna see what blood them back. I was blooding from Ted Little White Boy ass up. My boy said, hey, come on. Hey, come on, bring your ass on. You called me a fucking bitch at the table. Come on. Hello. He said, come on. Still sitting there for her. Wait, wait, what bullshit? Had a little pan leg rolled off his head. Say, hey, man, uh, and he had a, a, a number on his neck. Never forget, it said 100%. 
You know. The white boy. Yes, sir. Yeah. And when I seen what 100% meant, me, he, that white boy didn't give a fuck how skid he was, how <laughs> little he was. Man, disrespecting him, for the, he finna take his business. And that's a whole blood over there. Don't you know that blood nigga didn't move? Shh. I said, wait a minute. Hold on, yeah. Anybody would say, come on. I mean, he called him about four or five times. Get your, come on, get your shit and bring your ass on, man. Yeah. Fucking ass, you ain't, you ain't gonna call me no bitch and get away with it. Not in jail. You know, that's forbidden. Yeah. And, and it's, in, it's, it's, it's forbidden, but especially in jail. It's forbidden. Yeah, you mean? Uh, yeah. Once you get called yeah. one and don't bag it up, you yeah. become one. Yeah. Did you catch that? Yeah. I said, once you get called one yeah. and don't bag it up, you, you become, become one. one. Yeah. Damn. Call nigga bitch, you ain't doing nothing. Shit, nigga. You know, like shit. <laughs> so we was like, man, they ain't as tough as I thought. Uh, okay. Oh, good. Cool. Thank, thank you. The best. Yeah. You the best. Yeah. Niggas sit here and watch me do pop cab with yeah. boogers in my nose. Nah, nah. But anyway, yeah, watch this up. Not to hold that story up too bad. Um, um, that uh, uh, the weekend came. That weekend, I watched that little white guy um charge that black devil. He didn't do nothing. I said, that white boy charged him up, up, up. Man, you still, man? I was just playing with you, man. Mm. No, you wasn't. <laughs> you playing now because he's serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you see, you didn't call the wrong motherfucker out their name, and you thought the little white boy was the white boy. Hey, I fell in love with that white boy attitude, man. That that that, that was cool, because I ain't never seen that right there. Later on that day, them bloods was back there, and I was standing there, and as usual, standing there, they went to, hey, blood, what's that? And that day, I said, oh, I had enough, because don't lock that in front of me. Mm -hmm. Do that no more. I ain't going to disrespect me, and I just seen that white boy handle you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. I just seen him get down on you. You don't think you tough around me, nigga? Mm -hmm. Crazy as fuck, nigga. Lock that shit around me. And he said, what you talking about, blood? I was just not too hot. Look at um, I call it confirmation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you heard. And that's what I did. Ding! That's all I heard in my head, and I took off on him. Blah, 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 blah. I went to scratching with him. The homeboy friend said, say, man, what's going on, man? I said, you probably tell your homeboy don't throw that shit up in my face like that no more. He said, man, he just telling you, man. He just talking about the cell. <laughs> I'm just whopping him up. Get you too. What's up? Now in the snap. I'm finna get jumped. I know they finna jump me, so fuck it. Who next? Yeah, yeah, you right there. What's up? And so on. Um, I shine that night. Uh, for them few hours. Then I looked up and heard some guy say, well, here they come. Oh, here they come. I just, I don't know, I ain't talking to me. I'm, who coming, though? Let me look. I seen a whole bunch of niggas coming through the door that didn't, that went on this block. And that dude looked at me and said, man, you might want to get up. You might want to get up. White boy gave me the game. He said, hey, man, you might want to get up. They're coming to get you. Who? Who coming to get me? Hey, man, you know, you look at me. I don't give a fuck who come through the door. Shit, and I jumped off my bed, and, I, and they came by like seven, eight bloods. Uh, Trauma Street bloods. I'm gonna leave that at that. My dog know I ain't lying. <laughs> uh, they came rushing through the door, and I heard the dude say, Man, where he at? Where he at? Where he at? Uh, I, I ain't gonna let y'all play cat and mouse. I'm right here. You ain't gotta look at everybody to see because you don't know who I am. I'm, Y'all come on looking for me? Well, I'm right here. Um, he said, yeah, blood, what's up? You overthrowing me? I said, man, I'm going to tell you something, man. Straight up. I already see I'm at a number. Uh, what's that? I said, I'm, 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 I'm going to fight anything. He said, you over there, he said, you over there um, fighting any niggas disrespecting blood? Uh, I said, man, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting anybody that disrespect me, period. Nigga, I'm locked up. Some niggas ain't no scrub in the blood, nigga. I just seen a white boy handling blood niggas. I know to stomp the shit out of him. Mm -hmm. Easy work. That nigga didn't move, but he wanna act tough on me. Nah, I ain't no hoe, nigga. You just got hoed, nigga. Don't come around here trying to hold me with all that shit. You ain't stand up for that. Get your bitch and I told his man, and I thought just like I thought. I'm saying you didn't have yourself shit. And man, I, I was playing chess. That's what you don't know. Uh I say, 
he tough to y'all, but he let the white boy handle it. Because I, I can tell these guys right here mentality. Uh, once you know how to play chess and you know how to uh, manipulate and you know how to see yeah. what person thinking, you know how to run them. Let me put, I got one on the hook. I had him like this. It's like wheeling in a fish. Okay, if I can keep the leader, I might can just put this one in the basket. Well, I tell him, well, it wasn't me. It's the white boy. Just, he said, what white boy? Oh, that's the, that's the move. You move. Um, that one over there. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. You can call me. Yeah, I know it. You can call me Terrence Gangsta Williams right now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> him. Open up. Look at him. I know it. Don't y'all do this over here. Hey, hey, hey. They ain't the, and hey. That, that took the heat off me. And they yeah. ran over and jumped on the white boy. Yeah. Oh, shit. And they whooped his ass. I'm glad. God damn. How oh, man, you that. set the white boy up for a beat. Well, hey, it's called chess. <laughs> I, just, I, I was just saying. I just threw the worm on the hook. I didn't know Yo, they was going to bite. So you mentioned Terrence Gangsta Williams, right? Oh, yes, sir. I have met the Gangsta Williams. <laughs> shout out to the homie, man. Okay, sh- we, shout uh, out to the homie. We, 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 actually, we bumped. Go ahead. We actually met him, too. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So... He's a lovable guy to, yeah. to, to, to know as as the person he is right now today. Right. Um, whatever he got going on, you know, she, you know, you know. Oh, I got that from Giggity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know, I got that from, from OJ. Oh, 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 OG, OG Giggity. Giggity. OG Giggity. That's OG so, Giggity, um, man. Go ahead and talk to me about the man, man. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we sat down with him too. So, um. Y'all sat down and, and chopped it up. Most definitely. Did y'all go back and forth first? or? Uh, yeah, we got into it first. Um, I didn't like the way he was handling one of my partners on the interviews because he, he he did my um my um my one of my um, co-workers, real, you know, cool. just, just real to him. Oh, what'd he do to him? He just handled him. What, what, what'd he say? Um, See, one thing about a person that ain't never been to prison, they don't know when they being handled. Right. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. And he was handling the shit out of my partner. I'm like, I'm with my partner. He green. He don't I, know. I, I ain't see the interview. So uh, it was uh, an interview or you, it was you, behind you, the scenes? No, nah, it was on the scene. Okay. Shit, Sorry. my partner was trying to maintain. He sit back. He, you know, no postures, everything. You're on the interview. You don't see me all like this, slashed over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm having the interview, man. Well, that's turns. That was his perception when he went to tune me. You know, little blogger. Just you know, go and give him a little change and go. Yeah. What you want, man? Yeah, he was, you know, he was doing his thing on him. But he was taking him the wrong way. He was like, yeah, man, I come here. You ain't got me no chicken. You ain't got me no Popeyes. You ain't got me this, man. Come on, you got to step your game up, Oh, homie. he hit him with the light press? Man, I'm talking about real nice bench. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Say yeah, it on. Um, bench press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He hit him with a nice press, man. You yeah. know, tune, you know, you know. Was kind of green behind the ears because he, he wasn't catching the punches that yeah, he was yeah, throwing. He was just yeah. standing there letting him land it. But I was like, man, this nigga had this, he had this pepper in his mouth. He just got so. Yeah, man. Damn. Damn, this peppermint good. Damn, that's about the only thing good the peppermint. You know, damn. No chicken, you know. I said, come on now. So I say, my thing was still, that's my little brother you handling behind that camera. Like your cameraman right there. Yeah. That's my cam. That's your cameraman. Don't handle your cameraman like that. Stand up, nigga. Keep your posture. What nigga. you did? No, oh, I wasn't. Okay. I had to watch from long distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to watch when he hit the net. You understand me? Um. And that nigga though, sit there and and, 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 and handle tune. So I say, man, let me go. And, uh, and he was asked a question um, about real tune that put me in the water. He said, um. He said, he said um. Is there any tough guys in prison? It turns guys to William said yes. Mm. And I said, nah, ain't no tough guys in prison. Yeah, I seen you. And I he said, I video. respectfully disagree with OG Purse. I said, yes. I mean. This nigga said, did, did you say did. my name? He said, OG Purse. Ah man, it's probably, it's probably the biggest fish I can caught, you know, this year. You hear me? Right, damn me, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna reel that motherfucker in. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna mm-hmm. catch this one. Shit. Mm-hmm. I, I may. I, I know it's pulling too hard. It's pulling hard, but yeah. got him. Yeah. Shit. Look at old giggity wiggly like a. Well, I'm gonna put him in a basket and keep him. Fuck around and have to cook him later. Hello. 
let y'all soak in that one for a minute. Yeah. Said it. I talk until they burn up. Uh, but my thing is this. Make Giggity, man. Me and Giggity had, you know, I, uh, I broke my rules as a gangster, uh, which I don't claim no more. Uh, I am OG. Uh, what, what rule? Um, rules on the street, you know, we don't, you know, snitches get stitches. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody deal with rats. Mm -hmm. Nobody fuck with niggas to tell shit. Uh, I gave the man a chance, you know, to, uh, after we got into it, because um, after my interview about him, about Real Tune, I went viral. Oh, I tore his ass up by handling my little partner. And I meant it. Uh, the things I was saying to him, you know. You know, shit, I put the grease on the goddamn me uh, on the skid, and uh, he fell for it again. Yeah. And, and I threw his ass in on Friday after so, that. So, um, my thing with Giggity, man, uh, I let you in uh, based on your word, you know, on trust, you know, because you know, everybody's going to turn their back on you, nigga. You know, they saying you're a rat, you're a snitch and all that because you can be all of that. Uh, that ain't why I started, you know, taking a like to you. I took a like to you because you came home. Nigga, you got out the slave camp. Mm -hmm. I know where you was at, homie. For you to get out that motherfucker however you did, I don't give a fuck right now. You got out the slave camp? Oh, man, I ain't never seen a nigga do that. Right. I got niggas down there doing life and suffering and dying in that motherfucker. Cause that's where they gonna die at with a life sentence that you had. Okay, so... You um, just got me sensitive, Chris. That, yeah. my, that AD Chris, my brother Chris. Yeah, yeah. Killed. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, um, so you and Terrence are cool right now. No, we're not. You're not cool? We're back. Yeah! We're on bad terms again. Oh, uh, what happened? Damn, giggity. Oh, uh, y'all gonna see Diamond Stone probably be dropping it pretty soon. Um, I just told you I caught a big fish. I just told you I had the grease and then the skid. And then what I tell you? Got a Friday, motherfucker. Yeah. I'm gonna sit right here just in case I have to cook. Yeah. Well, man, um, a couple of days ago, I I cooked him. I cooked him. That was a riding fish. <laughs> well, I just you know, you know, to them, you know. My thing is, I friended you because of who you was, and I can't turn my back because I'd be a whole ass. I wouldn't say nothing. Man, you cool one day. Oh, he did what? Oh, yeah, you ain't cool no more. Well, hell, you a fake nigga because you shouldn't have been cool at first. Mm. If you cool today, you cool tomorrow with right. me. Um, it, it'd be a lot you have to do to change my mind, you know. But um, it's a lie on me or lie to me. You feel that part? Says so a lot to lie on, on me, me and lie to or me. lie to me, yeah, would change my perspective mm -hmm. about who I think you are. That's okay, good. so what happened? Um, what, what, what did he do? He didn't shoot straight with me, you know what I'm saying? Um, I let I, I messed with you because you told me, you know, I, I wrote this to the grave with your turns. I, 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 I trusted, I trusted your word. You told me what you how you got that now. I can accept the fuck with you or not. Now, ain't nobody going to fuck with you, you know. But you all right with me. I, I looked in your heart, looked in your eyes, seen your heart. Man, you all right people, man. You, you didn't grow up. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, yeah. Come find out you ain't grow up, nigga. You still scamming and scheming. You lying in niggas' faces. Uh, if you told me the real reason why you got out, I still had a choice to accept you, you know. But you didn't tell me the real reason. Okay, what's the real reason? Uh, man, you got that on your own city, man. I let you in my city. Who say you won't get out on me, city? Say this with me, fellas. Say, so, say so this with me. Say this with me. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Right. Say that nothing from nothing leaves nothing. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you positive? Yeah. Fact. Is that a fact? That's a fact. Fuck you mean. I like you. Yeah. Tell the truth. Nothing from nothing leaves no Now let's rock with it. Stay with me for a mm -hmm. minute. But I want you to keep that saying in your mind. Uh, this was my homework. Uh, sit back and I, I, I didn't want to go into why Terrence got out. That's not my business. Mm -hmm. My business, I, I'm fucking with you because you got out. That nigga, you know, <laughs> Nigga, without the fucking Harry Tubman. You hear me? Yeah. Without the Underground Railroad. You got that? Yeah. 
You can't ask slick them people for shit. But how'd you? Man, you won in a million. I told a nigga you gonna have books about you and everything. You have a legislation about you and everything. Well, you got out. Mm-hmm. But nigga, you, you know, uh, hey, her thing called smoke screen. <laughs> yeah, that's what that was. That's the smoke screen. Okay, that's the smoke screen. So how did you find out different? Uh, 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 uh. I'm not turning. Okay, what did you see? You seen some paperwork? Uh. I heard some paperwork. You heard. Well, I seen see? it. I, I mean, I wasn't reading it, but I seen it being read. How about that? On the net. By the truth. But you know. Not anybody can be saying anything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Anybody, anybody can be saying but anything. But you know, you got to. You have, you and know, you're right. And you're right. You, you, know have to, you have to choose your company carefully. Because Terrence strike me as someone who owns his situation. I don't uh, know. No, you're right. But, you know what I'm saying? Well, Terrence, and, and, and guess what? Welcome to the club. Yeah. Well, I, I feel like saying, welcome to the club. Yeah. Why you think I let him come? Yeah. Shit, you know, that's what you did? Damn, cool. You know, that's fucked up, but nigga, you pulled it off? <laughs> and then somebody released. I don't fuck with you, cool. Somebody. Um, yeah, he's trying to protect that paper. Somebody posted his paperwork, too. Uh, he's trying he to protect to it. Up. He had to protect it, man. Look. Uh, I don't read the Bible because um, I say how you how you how you in your I don't read the Bible because guess what? It's more than one of them. Mm-hmm. I don't know who to believe. What well, I supposed to believe the Quran? <laughs> uh, hello, <laughs> I'll let you soak in there for a minute. I don't yeah, study yeah, for the yeah. test. I just take them. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah. yeah, but you feel me? I feel you. Thank you. There's two different versions. You know, what I'm <laughs> I don't know what to believe. This one said one thing, this go. one said another. I don't know. Okay, well, no, then, I don't know. What, 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 what's on that paperwork? And then there's contradictions. Matter fact, matter fact, who center. wrote that? King James yeah. or, or Terrence? Which one of y'all wrote that one this time? Terrence wrote that one, no King James. But well, which one is the truth? Okay, so th- let's pass that. Oh, go ahead. What about Charleston White? What about it? Y'all have some words. Y'all know each other though, right? Correct or? Um, we we didn't have run-ins. You had run-ins, so y'all had some words on the net. Where do y'all where do y'all uh, stand? I'm the reason Charleston is who he is. Why you say that? Uh, cause it wasn't for no Percy, wouldn't be no Charleston. Uh, if it wasn't for no Charleston, Percy would still exist. Hello. <laughs> why, why why you say that though? Cause I had a career before Charleston even was heard of. Okay. Did you say you hear me in battle rap? Yeah. And nobody know no Charleston without battle rap. Mm-hmm. Hello. So you're saying you're the reason for Charleston? To yes, sir. Be I'm the reason, reason that uh, Charleston is who he is today, and guess what? Vice versa. This type of man I am. Okay. Yeah, because I want to get into that yeah, part. Yeah. That's deep. No. Why? <laughs> because Charleston used to down talk. All I'm used, I'm Charleston stepping stone. Yeah. I'm the bitches. I'm the dope fiend. I'm the nigga that lived back in the garage with his mama. Oh, shh. I'm the broke nigga. I'm the nigga with no car. I ain't got $10 in my pocket. Yeah, he made you a stronger that, man. Uh, that, that's number one. Yeah. I was already there before I met yeah. him. Because if I wasn't a stronger man, he'd been and broke me yeah, down like yeah. he did these clowns every week. <laughs> Tell the yeah, yeah. up. <laughs> so he speak a lot <laughs> of... <laughs> Who gonna stop the baby? Yeah, yeah. Say the baby something, nigga. Yeah, yeah. That nigga be here spank, spanking their ass on that internet. <laughs> Crying like a mother. Everybody crying. God damn. So he speak a lot of reality about people's situation. Um, if if anybody knows me and Charleston started out together, together, yeah, me and me and Charleston and Dewberry did Gangster Chronicles together. Y'all look up at gang, the Gangster Chronicles. Yeah, it was Dewberry, Charleston White, and Percy. Yeah, that that was the um the dream team that was supposed to take off. And, and what's what, what is Gangster Chronicles? Uh, that's um Spice One, MCA, all them boys up in um uh, uh, uh Oakland, California, California them guys down there, the Crips mm-hmm. and shit. Where, where, my bad, the gangs down there, <laughs> the Crips down there. Um, uh, um, uh, they got a nice um podcast down there, DJ Quick and all of okay, them. Okay, and y'all did. Spice y'all was yeah. on the podcast together, all three. And of y'all. they called, they called you, yeah, and we did that together. That was that was that was, that was supposed to take off. Uh, uh, I just happen to know uh, I'm a rookie. I don't know nothing. I'm just happen to be on a live, you know. But I, I was doing like I seen Charleston doing, you know. And he had his live sitting in front of him on the speaker like that, talking to the people. Well, um, I'm not fortunate to have, you know, special equipment. I'm pole pocket person. I got a whole mind in my hand. 
But I want to entertain it because, like, I know and you know, I'm mm-hmm. I'm having business. Well, uh, uh, the comment club pissed him off because the comment club didn't notice the eyeball. Understand me? It, yeah. His eye. They didn't notice. Oh, man. I need me a peppermint. I need me a peppermint. <laughs> some marshmallows over there somewhere? He didn't, he didn't blow the game up. <laughs> Go ahead, Percy. Do your thing. I'm man. just saying. I, I thought everybody... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch out. There you go. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> um, now, see... I told you I fucks with Charleston, but I can't stand eyeball. <laughs> eyeball ain't shit. Eyeball's conniving, scheming, scaring this month. Somebody gonna kill eyeball. Eyeball gonna get Charleston killed. You know who eyeball is? Eyeball, okay, then. It's yeah, the man that yeah, lives in your head. It, 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 Hello! It's alter ego. No, I just told you what it was. I said it's the man that lives in his head. <laughs> Oh, I know that's too deep. Right, I'm killing your show today, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the man that lives in his head. Because when we take him out, he be all right. Man, we get the eyeball from it. Hey, man, hey. That, that's, that's my shit. I have made this piece of work right here the most popular thing on the internet. Yeah. I heard a person tell that man Charleston was somewhere the other day. And that man said, oh, Charleston, wait. He said, no, mama. That's eyeball. <laughs> I said, Yes. <laughs> yes. Somebody listening to yeah, me. Yo, person, you crazy. I made, I made him I made his own his image to um to save him. Yeah. Vice versa. I did that to save the man. Uh, me and Charleston started out together. Uh I don't I don't I don't care too much to work. I just caught Charleston in the hood the other day. Yeah. Uh that situation could have turned out, you know, very, very, very ugly. After he didn't talk bad about my dead brother. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. You know I'm gonna get you. Yeah. you know, come on, man. Yeah. Do that, bro. Play that shit with Nipsey Hussle and everybody else, people around there. And you right here in Fort Worth, you got to be a fool to think you're going to walk around this motherfucker. Man. You crazy. You know my kids? <laughs> you know who you talking about? Uh, you, you want that much clap? Yeah. You said, what about my brother? I know this man didn't do my brother like that. So, but anyway, um, what, what happened? Eyeball was talking about my motherfucking brother. Yeah. For the clap. You understand me? What the fuck? Why was my brother didn't bother me? And let me tell you the sad thing about that part. My big brother was an eyeball fan. Wow. What? Couldn't tell him nothing about Charleston. Mm-hmm. He was a fan of that man, man, and that man didn't even know it. And you sit there and try to get, because you know one thing, uh, uh, cloud chasing, that shit only goes so far. But, you know, certain shit you know what to do, you know, uh, People really think they comfortable with you, rub shoulders with you. They, that's how far I can go with this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Ah, he, he love you. He don't do shit. He don't let me do that. Nah. But, um, I about, um, used to call me certain things and call me this, you know, he started out saying things about me, but guess what he been stuck on? That same conversation for years. Uh, he can't come up with nothing, but he never in mama house. He broke. He's a this and he's a that. Oh, well, yep, y'all, I stay back here in the old garage with the dogs. Which I don't know, I got a five bit. Uh, I, y'all, y'all right, I ain't got a pin in my pocket. If anybody can help me out today, my name is Poe Pocket Person. Send me, carry shaft, such and such, help me out. Uh, um, but I do have a nice five bedroom, two story house paid. You no, know, I don't pay, I'm not, that, 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 um, that um, the government the assistant never paid for. I pay mortgage, nigga, I don't pay rent. You know what I'm saying? I can cap like that. Yeah. Understand me? It still exists today. You can pull up on Fox Chalk Drive. I'm not going to give you the address. <laughs> so, so. Uh, nice, beautiful house. Um, you renting it out? <clears throat> now it's being paid for. Me and my baby mama got that house years ago. Yeah. Um, it still exists right now. I can go home whenever I want to. Right now. Y'all can take me to the house. Okay. I don't stay with her, though. Yeah. So um, I let her have it. I feel like I'd rather stay in the cell and be happy to be somewhere and be miserable. Welcome to the cell, right? Let's go. Um, Welcome to the cell, man. So where do you and 
um, Charleston stand now? Oh, if you're, um, and what, 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 hold on, let me backtrack. What was you going through? What was going through your mind when you seen him? Uh, out of all this world, I ain't. I don't never go nowhere. Uh, have you ever seen a spider wait on the arm? Uh, you know, just gotta mm-hmm. sit there and wait for someone to land the goddamn in the me. web. Yeah, yeah. That's what that was mm-hmm. like. I've been sitting there waiting on the web for you. God. I know there ain't no big, big fly land on that hole. That's a horse fly. Mm-hmm. Big motherfucker. Matter of fact, it's a whole butterfly land in my net. I, I pulled up on the block, man. I, you know, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, if you don't believe in higher powers and spiritual warfare, uh, you'll lose this life, this, this fight in life, man. Uh, if you don't believe in spiritual warfare and a higher power, you'll lose this war in life. What do I mean by that? At all these places in the world, Charles could have been, ain't no way he's supposed to run into me. This nigga be out in Miami and got fun and on this side of town and that side of town. You know, I love shit. No damn well he ain't coming over here. Yeah. <laughs> but that's where you get your, you know, you know, your, your finest are the finest. Nigga. That's where the, that's where the best um, Jamaican trees in the world is, mom. You hear me? Right there on the block in Charleston, know that. Jamaican tree. Jamaican tree. So the old, so that's, um, what they call it, Yardis? Yardis? Pa- palm granite. Yeah, that, <laughs> so that that has no chemicals in it. And if it's Jamaican oh, oh, weed, it, or, uh, no, you know, that, no. that didn't smell like no Jamaican weed. Oh, it's just regular state list, no cheese, ma. Yeah, boomer cloud up with the white paper. You understand me? Yeah. Uh, no mixtures, no honey nuts, no flavors. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, and um, no marshmallows in my cereal. <laughs> so <laughs> no salt on my spinach. So when you say okay. <laughs> When you seen him. Yeah. What went to my mind? Um, I seen him. You know, the strangest thing, man, this is crazy, man. I was getting out the car. They will get my finest of the Jamaican trees myself, you know. He just happened to be pulling up to him. Uh, like he say, I don't have a car. Well, uh, he never expect to see me anymore. <laughs> so how about that work? So, um. Uh, he was parking, I was parking. I just noticed that part because I didn't know who he was like he didn't know who I was in the car. I was getting out. He was getting out at the same time. And all of a sudden, I closed my door, turned around, looked. He was closing his, turned around, and looked. And he was like, damn. I said, what's up, Nick? He said, what's up? And he walked his way, and I walked mine. And then my mind uh, couldn't take it. I could have paid him never mind, mm-hmm. but my mind said, oh, hell no. You know how you, the devil just, poof. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then I ain't say, poof, don't do it. The devil said, got him. Uh, I had been studying for that test for over three years. I ain't never seen Charles. Uh, people think things are stage. People think things are character. That It's not. It's real. Uh. The shit that he do, he say you can't take it back. He said it there. Y'all heard him say it. They just can't believe it's real enough for me to accept it and believe it. Uh, well, if I want to stay on this side of the ground, I have to. Mm-hmm. Uh, what kind of test was that? That was an emotional test that I had to pass. Uh, a mental test I had to pass. Everything I worked for in life, I had to pass. Uh, and, and at that time, the tug of war was on, man. Get him. Don't do it, person. Don't go back to the pen. You're not going to call police on you, man. Don't do it, man. I'm going to get this motherfucker. Get him, person. I got him. And he said he was going in. He went in somebody's house, and I turned around, and uh, I took pursuit. I can't um, tell y'all everything that happened because um, I ain't going to incriminate myself on this camera because I know um, he has every right, but I kept it clean as I could because when you playing a, a guy like Charleston and Chest, if your boy, if you don't make the right move, he fuck. Uh, English to the law is your fault. And fucking with Charleston is too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to give me a high five on that one. Bars. Hold on, man. Bars. I said ignorance to the law. Man, that's, I got I to gotta stand on somebody else. Yeah. I don't know where that came. That's, that's how I work, y'all. Yeah. Uh, damn. I like to make myself. Nah, that was a good quote for the day. Ignorance yeah. to the law is your fault. And fucking with Charleston is too, man. Yeah. Uh, Cause only an ignorant nigga will mess with Charleston, right? Knowing that he what, an ignorant nigga, yeah. <laughs> when he wanna be. Well, 
eyeball is. Charleston is a great man, smart man, an educated man. He know what the fuck going on. <laughs> Charles, I said Charleston, but eyeball, oh, you out of the way, like you out of there. Did you know Charleston as a, as a youth? Or I ain't not? never knew Charleston in my life. Okay. Uh. Y'all y'all around the same age? Uh. No, sir. I am. I am the elder of the city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I had just signed new legislation for all the crypt. Just five deuce. Yeah. Um. If y'all are five fifty two, uh, five five do so. Uh, I've tried to, you know, um, I've already lived the um the blue rage part of life. Okay, I'm in the black redemption part right now. Uh, Tookie cool. Williams, um, the Crip God, the one that brought Crip into this world, uh, wrote a book called Blue Rage Black Redemption. Uh, three things I want to say and wrap it up in our one quote. Uh, when I was on John R. Lindsay. I learned that um, it's not about game right now. We're in a place we're going to have to put our difficulties to the side, brother, and we're going to have to get back black. Right. It can't be no Crips and blood against each other in here, man. You see, we are with these white boys turn our ass up, and we fighting each other too? It does. Um, in 2023, I started um, a movement down at the Southwest by Southwest. It was my first time to broadcast it. Um, and I told everybody um, the um, the motto for this year is uh, we putting the red and blue down. Because when we was in there, I was in there with blood niggas and, and crib niggas, but we was outnumbered by the white boys. And now we can sit and play fucking blood and crib if we want to and get out and, and just everybody, you know, mm -hmm. we beat up enough of us and they'll beat up the rest of us. Right. <laughs> Shit. You understand me? And they, were going, they was doing that over there. Okay. Um, right then I learned something that I should have learned a long time ago. Um, which is my movement this year. We're going to put the red and blue down and bring black back. That's why you see me throwing up the yeah. black fist everywhere I go, and I, and I did that. And the only reason I, I did like that, that. And, and somebody, yeah, we putting the red and blue black and bringing mm -hmm. black back. And the sad thing about shit like that, uh, uh, it takes it takes, it takes your enemy to, to, to do something to make you say, hey, that's what I'm back on. Okay. And I seen somebody do that, and uh, it made me throw the fist back up. And, and that same person been um, inspiring me for years. And... Uh, I let you see this here. Hello. That's tough. No, 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 we don't do that. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I'm gonna let you hear a conversation that um. Where's hands at? What is it? I know. Hey, oh, 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 oh. They want. They want your. This is two one. They, they want your prayer. This is what we say. Everybody playing on your name. That's why everybody they know they say. Yeah. As the state, your name is just as big as mine, yeah. homie. Yeah. Did y'all hear that? Yeah, I heard that. That's fire. Yeah. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. If I let niggas play me, I'm a fool. I guess he think I talk to people for free. Yeah. But anyway, the thing with that, um, when I seen him standing like that, you know, you know. That's why you see me doing it all the time now. Yeah. You just seen it. Didn't nobody know where I was doing it at. You just seen it. But um Let me show you something. Go ahead. Th that you said that, right? Okay, okay. I like <laughs> You gotta be kidding. See there? Yeah. No, and see, he didn't. He did it out of spite. That's mm -hmm. fire. Mm -hmm. I look. I love confirmations. Man. Yeah. So that's a picture with me and Charleston. That's fu and that's doing fire. The same thing. Yeah. That's so, fire. That's um, that's fire. <laughs> that, that's that's real shit. You know. Yeah, yeah. When he did that around me, um, I said, "Nigga, out here, you know." He, so I from. I said, "Well, shit, you know." I was looking at something the other day, and I seen a black, I was looking at a revolutionary story, and all in black afro, and I kept seeing the black people doing that. And I said, you know what, I just seen Charles throw a little over here. I, I remember the afro pick back in the days with the fist on the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah everything was right. That was a go. That, that was, was a go. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Shit, I had the, um, 
when they used to have the little um thing with the fist, the black fist. You know, yeah, like okay. I had the one with the two fists. I had I had the one with the small bread. Small bread. So I used to wear that. I used to wear that. Yeah, yeah. Say yeah, yeah. um. I used to look for that at the uh Jamaican festival and buy Let's that. Go. You know what I'm saying? Let's yeah, go. Yeah. And then they had the little thing with the African thing. You know the so, ones they make. I'm taking but, um, this off. I'm taking these down. I'm bringing this back. Okay. We can get back to this. We go. We be together, man. Yeah, for sure. We can take this I out. Like that. Take them bees and them seeds away and get back to this. Oh man, uh, I've done. I've done my job to discredit Crips um, for yeah. the last couple of years uh, to pass on the legislation that they didn't get, uh, and they didn't get the memo mm-hmm. from the Crip guard, Tookie mm-hmm. Williams, uh, someone that. Started what we are in. Somewhere that got my face all tatted up and got me. I'm following a, a religion. Is that what Crippin is? It's not a. It's not a gang. Yeah. Or it's a religion. Yeah. Uh, what is a religion? A way of life. Right. Um. Uh, saying it to say this. Um. Uh, they didn't get. They didn't let. They didn't let them brothers get the memo. Took you had the memo. Took you one of. Uh, took you took a five by seven prison cell and turned into a uh, a business office. And from that business off, he could either did time and died, or he could have made a difference and died. Uh, that's what I want to do now, make a difference and then die. Uh, started out like Tookie Williams after I read the book twice, which I'm a slow reader, but the first, second time it, it was like a movie to me playing in my head because yeah. I knew the words coming up. But um, the, 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 um, I, I like to get this out to all Crips. All Crips, man, around the world. Well, uh, uh, you know, I, 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 hate, I hate to make Cripping sound bad. Uh, I was a Crip myself. They say, you ain't no Crip no more. I look him now, nigga. No motherfucking Crip, nigga. What the fuck I so look like? still got the rag? Wait, hold on, man. Shit, nigga. You don't, you don't, you don't look. Where's it at? Look <laughs> 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 My bad. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I'm glad you reminded. I was looking for some tissue while ago. My bad. You know, I'm old. Yeah. Uh, ask me what the, you know what OG stands for. Yeah, original gangster, but. Hold on. You, you, you oh, went, oh, oh. Hold on. <laughs> but you went from, you went from P-Dog to OG. <sighs> and now you're getting rid of OG to go to what? Huh. Just uh, Percy. I am OG. Just show child. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Mm. Is there a... Oh, my OG stands for the old guy. The old guy. Hello! I like that. Hold so, on, hold on one more time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the old guys do. You hear me? They pull out their hang. <laughs> mm-hmm. They don't pull out... Uh, <laughs> where's the toilet tissue? No, old school. With those... Shit. Gonna wipe your nose on the handkerchief. Yeah, I know. So, um, bro. that's what that's there for now. We're gonna run through this real quick. Yo, hurry we, up. We run on a little it. time thing. Let's go. Thing, let's go. So I'll talk to y'all. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. So, uh, you you mentioned Dewberry. Okay, what about him? Um, do y'all have any issues? I never had an issue with Dewberry. Okay. Never. So y'all are good. Uh, he always had one with me. Oh, he has. What's his issue with he you? He didn't believe that I, who I was who I said I was on Ferguson Unit. Yeah. Uh, can one no man do what you say you did on no unit? It's impossible. Uh, I've been there, I've done that, and he's a lying. He gotta be lying. He can't say I'm lying. He just said I gotta be lying. It's impossible for him to say he was doing what he was doing. Uh, sad thing, he had to find out the hard way. What? How's that? Nigga, I was doing what I was doing. That nigga, that was showing up. Yeah. How? Uh, he, how he find out? Shit. All you gotta do is ask people that was in there with him. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. You go to prison, I ain't the only motherfucker in there. Yeah. So, so you go to prison, that nigga nigga come in and say, no, nah, man, I was down that nigga, man, nigga lying like a hoe. So people vouch for you. You ain't got no choice. Yeah. I was doing what I was doing. Okay. It just don't sound real. Right. Can't no one man do that on no penitentiary. you. That nigga gotta be lying. Yeah, nigga, uh, it ain't nothing to brag about. I just thank God, you know, uh, I made it through and came home safe. Right. So, um, I seen a video where, um, you spoke about the offset situation. Okay. And it, and it, and it, it touched you. You was yeah. like damn near in tears. Yeah, because I got a brother that just got yeah. killed. Mm-hmm. And 
I got a box over there full of obituary where it was a dead people that's been dying around me for years, and uh, with no feelings. Uh, see my brother get killed. I know what I was sitting there. I know a brother that's in pain for another brother. Yeah. I know the feeling now. Yeah. Uh, I knew how long it took for me to stop crying. I cried through my mattress, huh? Yeah. I cried till it looked like I peed in the mattress, and the, mattress, the other side of the mattress was soaked. That's how bad I cried about my brother. I didn't know what to do. And I went in a dark place. I started drugging. I'm trying to get the, the shit out of my fucking head. Yeah. Somebody come shake me and wake me up. Tell me this boy ain't gone, man. Yeah. I'm with my brother every day for 50-something years, man. Uh, and I had never seen this nigga wrong nobody. You hear me? Mm -hmm. um, saying that to say that um, I never in my life experienced depression. I never let in my life experienced stress. I didn't know what it like to worry, but I can say now I know what it feel like. To be depressed, to wake up and just, you know, and shit just play back in your head. And the sad thing, uh, to pull up on the scene and run up to the car and fight through all them police to get to my brother. I dug through the ground to get to that crime scene. Uh -huh. uh, I was I was talking about five laws. And I still hit a gator roll on them and came up out that hole. Mm -hmm. uh, that's when you know you're in your supernatural powers. That's, that's that strength that kick in that... You don't know you got when you serious about getting to where you're trying to get mm -hmm. to. Uh, and the worst thing to do is run up on that car and, and get a, um, a sight that will haunt me for the rest of my life. And that's my brother. You know, riddled with bullets and, and looking in his face and looking at that motherfucker and say, hell no. Nah. Well, anyway. Um, what was the question? <laughs> Offset. Yeah, it's time to talk about my brother. I get offset, offset. Um, bars. Yeah, bars. <laughs> I had to hit you with that offset, one. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, offset, man. Uh, the way I felt about that, because I feel like, um, you know, they playing with this brother, man. Uh, it's a sensitive conversation saying, I said everything about me to say that I know where he was at. And yeah, I, I shared a couple of tears because I, I seen uh, uh Pain in that man's eyes when he said, man, y'all can call me, man. Call me, man. Call me, man. Don't do this, man. You, you know my number. Call me, man. You niggas, come on, bro. Uh, when I seen him say that, it broke me, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Charleston, call me. Don't do that about my brother, huh? Call me, man. Don't, don't play with his name on his internet like that, huh? Uh, it ain't that I'm going to get you, I'm going to kill you. Man, that shit hurt, bro. Mm hmm Hell, I ain't even got over the fact that he gone. Mm -hmm. I'll say they ain't been gone. Y'all stepping on this man, man. That man going through something because I know he is. Right. That's why it, it touched me. I like, man, bro, I know, I feel you, homie. Uh, I ain't been to a lot of dead homeboys. Seen thousands of niggas dead and shit. It didn't bother me like it did my own. Mm -hmm. So I see, you know, I'll say, you know, seeing it, man, it, it bothered me. Mm -hmm. So, um... You, Let's go. I seen you got a ring. You uh -huh. did some boxing. What made you do that? Um, I, I'm not a boxer. Yeah, yeah. I almost got my ass slaughtered in that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nigga uh, talked me out my game. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Mayweather talked. What's his name? Mayweather talked to who? Mayweather talked a lot of. Time out. What is the UFC fighter that fought Mayweather? Oh, McGregor. Appreciate yeah. you. Just like Mayweather talk McGregor yeah. at his game. Out his game. I got talked out my game. Yeah. I knew damn well I shouldn't have got in the ring, but he'd have put them UFCs on and mopped his ass up. Yeah. Nigga, like, what? Oh, man, I do this shit for real. Uh, but uh, it ain't nothing to brag on, but uh, I, I just couldn't take the insult. He ain't insulted my character. Yeah. He said, I'll knock your old bitch ass out. My Lord. Yeah. That's some hard... Words coming from you, mister. Yeah. Said, that's kind of... And then I turned nigga on. I said, you know what, bitch? You know, it's a lot of things I don't get to do in life or see. You know what I ain't never seen? I ain't never seen a nigga knock me out. Can you show me how to do that? Well, how you do it? And then you said, yo, bitch ass out. See, it ain't about that no more. It's about to respect. I don't give yeah. a fuck who you is, nigga. I never call a man a bitch punk a hoe and don't be ready to fight behind it. And he said, I knocked your bitch ass out. So what I did, I heard you ever uh, I jumped ship. But all that came after the fact you got pushed on stage. Mm -hmm. 
All that came to you after the fact you got pushed out in the parking lot before the boxing match. Now, nigga, what's up? Where what, what these at? Okay, I'm gonna put them gloves on. Uh, uh, my dumb ass. Who pushed him? You? On me, uh, every time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm square business. Yeah. Yeah, he's just a gorilla. He's a bully. Yeah. He's a bully. He's a big bad bully and take everybody to the property and scare them. He got a big punching bag. <laughs> I'm the baddest motherfucker. Well, well, shit, you might be. But you ain't not finna knock this old bitch ass nigga out. Yeah. I wanna see that. I ain't no seen that. You don't know if I hit the ground. Yeah. Uh, I can get, I can gladly say, uh, everybody look at the ring and say, oh, person got his ass whooped around there. But one thing I can say, I'm a champ, nigga. Yeah. I went out bad. I went out colder than Muhammad Ali. I went out colder than Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis. Uh, 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 uh. Hot, what's the other nigga? Uh, Vander the Holyfield. Yeah. You ain't, you ain't asking me why. Yeah. Why? I ain't never hit the ground. Yeah, I was about to say. He Hello. Didn't, he didn't knock you out. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? Yeah. It, what? Well, you, you, been, you been boxing all your life. You been boxing all your life. Y'all did hit the ground. Y'all was about to wrestle or something, man. You was about to tackle him or something, man. man. Um, Come uh, on. Uh, you know, it just um. Now you still you you about to do UFC? I seen you. Well, I did kind of um, yeah. relapse. Yeah, I seen you. I you went the I, you went you went for the scoop. I yeah. see. I'm going for the ground and pound, yeah, man. Yeah. You went, you went <laughs> like this. You was about to. You said you're going for the school. Nah, come on, man. I seen yeah. it, man. Hey, but, but, you on, know, man. And then it was back to the action. Yeah. It was back to the hand. Yeah. Like, Give us up. Let's go. So Let's if you had them gloves on, things might have been different. You yeah, definitely it. went for the scoop. And when they had that ring there, yeah. things would have been different. He'd knock my ass out of something. Then he hit me with a bad motherfucker in that yeah. ring. Yeah. 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 You know, it was so you sad. Had your hands down. You had to. Somebody seen it. My party told me. I don't see that. Nah, I don't see he caught me with a, with a pretty short left hook. Yeah. I ain't see that motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, just like he Mike almost Tate. caught you with another one, but you ducked. Appreciate that, you. that was a Was it? I said, ooh, he ducked. <laughs> he ducked against the ropes. So the weave game yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, the weave game like, nice. I was like, okay. The weave game, when well, I came out the rope shit, I seen about six niggas in the ring. Yeah. I swung it out through the ring. Y'all seen me talk. <laughs> yeah, which one? Oh, there you go. Okay, so. Um, go ahead. Where, you, where do y'all stand now? He's a blood? Now nah, he's a crip, man. He's a crip out of Bears Out Cherries, man. Remember me and him We all right. Well, I just heard the other day, uh, he trying to dig up some 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 comments. He trying to get an interview with Nitty saying he want to talk, give his side of the story. Ain't no side of the story, nigga. I ain't seen you in five years. Yeah. Man, I don't bring it. I don't go oh, dig so it. that happened up. a while ago. That, that seven years, the boxing match. Yeah. Yeah, boxing match. I, was, I, I ain't been battle rapping in over, over a, few, a few years okay, now. Okay, okay. So, so, um, go ahead. Your sons, they they was they was rapping and um, doing a lot of videos and stuff like that. What happened? Um, uh, Daddy told him it'll be days like this. That's what happened. Yeah. Um. Uh, um. What's that old saying? You can lead a horse to the well, but you can't make him drink the yeah. weak shit. Well, the old shit. Well, um, my son them um. They did what daddy did, and they did exactly what you do every day, and they do exactly what we do. We did. At the beginning, you asked me a question and, uh, about this right here. Mm -hmm. And what was the answer? I did this because of what? Culture. This man, Raw. I fuck with you. Culture. I fuck with him. Yeah. He's a listener. I'm paying attention. You're right. Yeah. And, uh, so um, that's what's happening in this world today. Step and slide. That's the what? That's the culture. Mm -hmm. That's the culture. To the street guys, mm -hmm. um, but I'm letting guys know um, they lied to y'all. Yeah. Uh, we still got some fraternities. They did what? Tell them again. They lied to them. Mm -hmm. We still got fraternities. We still got black men going to college. See, this is where the world is. Uh, if I can get my little preaching in for a second, this is where the world is fucked off at. Um, everybody prays to sliders and the steppers, the drug dealers. And say, shut the what the? It's a dog out there for them all going up. My dog don't know. But anyway, listen. Everybody prays the sliders, the step. That's how you hear on the internet, mm -hmm. man. Didn't nobody say nothing about the homie just got his degree? Oh. In, in poly school last week? The engineer that just got his degree? And just said, didn't nobody say them black men, I mean, niggas that's really doing something that's worth something, that's worth talking about? Because what they're talking about is nothing. So guess what? If nothing runs the internet, that's what everybody gonna do. Yeah. So guess what runs the internet? Oh, he got smoke, he got slid on, he got stepped on. You know, everybody got sticks in their hands. Everybody got um drums on their guns, and, and everybody marching niggas down. So, um, what's called that drilling? Yeah, drilling. Nah, you missed the bar. Yeah, I said sticks, drums, marching. That's a drill, drill. team. Yeah, 
March a nigga down. I heard that. Boss, yeah. fire ain't it? Yeah. That's a drill team yeah, of yeah. niggas. I told nigga, I'm, next time I catch I'm just going to Drum get, line. No, nah, next time I catch him, nigga, I'm just going to get one of them sticks off the... Get one good and get one of them sticks out the tree. Yeah. And you can get the... What that's going to do? He going to think I'm hitting him with a switch, yeah. ain't he? Mm-hmm. Okay. I got him. I say I get that stick out the tree out and get the you hit him yep, so yep. hard, you think I'm hitting him with a switch. Mm-hmm. You get that stick off me, you think I'm hitting him so mm-hmm. fast, you think I'm hitting him with the switch. Let's go on. Um, but that's where I see the world at right now. Talk to me. Talk to me, gangster. So, um, what happened with your sons? Um, they end up. They didn't listen. They didn't listen. They decided to make their own decisions, their own choices. So they, um, um, they got their own solution to the problem. Uh, I tried to give it to them before they got there. I told them, hey, so hey, 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 hey. Don't go that way. Mm-hmm. I just came from down there. Ain't nothing down there with penalty to jails, devil. And go this way. Turn around go back that way. Uh, it's sad that when we were kids, uh, our mom used to say, hey, don't touch that iron, that iron hot. Yeah. And what would you do when she leave? Still touch it. Right on. Yeah. Like, this is a real one. They, you know, you're still going to touch You got to see for yourself. Question. Hello. Mm-hmm. Look, even if you do this, hey, yeah, you, yeah. you did that. Yeah. You did that. What you Let do? See you. you right, right. You ain't gotta it get stuck. It ain't that hot. It ain't that hot. Ah! Oh, it's hot. <laughs> you, oh, there you, you go. Tell a little bit. You tell a little bit. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he'd have been around some mine. Yeah, yeah. It ain't talk about them sticks. He'd have been around some mine, y'all. Say yeah. Uh, I, I remember that too. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Yeah. yeah, burn the some, shit out of you. Yeah, what? Burn the shit out of you. I know some people that walk by and scrape them and t- oh, fuck, oh shit, white meat. Okay, so let's um, go. How much time did they get? Who that? Your kids, your son. Uh, uh I got one got eighty four in the feds, eighteen in the states. I got one got eighty four in the feds, eighteen in the state. I got one doing fifteen. He ought to be home. Uh, couple more years. Uh. I got one doing 23. Uh, he's on Ferguson unit right now. Uh, I got another one. Um, little PMG got 20. Uh, I got one that just came home. He been home. He, he ain't supposed to be in that place. Uh, that's my smart boy. Uh, my mom used to tell me all the time, but baby, it so hurts mama to see you behind them balls. So hurts my heart. Uh, I can tell my mom I know how it feel now. Yeah. 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 Um, saying something that she always told me, because I didn't raise you like that. Yeah. People think it's Percy. They see Percy. Who Percy is, they think. Well, one thing Percy knew, not to raise his kids like that. Yeah. I got 10 kids. And I ain't never whooped down one of them. I think that's probably my mistake. I grew up getting whoopings. Well... Let's go. Hopefully, um, things change for them. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe they get some well, get back. Changed. I don't know. Well, nothing changed maybe, for them. Um, they they turn their life around. Their mind. Yeah, maybe they turn their life around when they come home or whatever. But um, what's next for Percy? Um, I'm trying to stay alive. I'm trying to see what... Well, I'm in the fourth quarter now. Yeah. Um, trying to win the game. Yeah, I am. I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't gonna lie, I'm trying shit on. And that's the only thing I can do. Well, you're doing a good job. Man. Oh, thank you. Know you. You're doing a good that, job. We here, man. Oh, we yeah. here. We yeah. here, man. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. trying to um change, you know, um, bring more smile than tears, man. Yeah. Boys, I'm trying to bring more smile than tears, man. And I ain't, I'm talking about tears, tears. Yeah. I, um, I've done my damage and I, and I prayed for it and God gave me a um, a third chance. Fire. Yeah, a third not a, chance, yeah. not a second chance, a third chance. Yeah, I'm on my third twenty-five. Yeah, your third twenty-five. Hello. Okay. Did you catch? Yeah, because yeah. you, you already did two twenty-fives. You're on Man. your third one. You know you how many people saying? ain't gonna make it through their first? Yeah. Oh, shit. You know what I mean, hello. Yeah. I know. Yeah. You know how many people ain't gonna make it through their second? Yeah. Um. Uh, the first. The first one might be the hardest. If you make it through the first. Say you said something. First one might say, be the hardest. I got a box full of um, a box full of first timers. Yeah. Ooh. So Man. yeah, um, 
It's been, you know, nice sitting down with you. I appreciate you, with you. you we, been, we appreciate you. I don't you want y'all to ever here. come back again. Yeah. After y'all leave, you don't come back here. Why is that? Your questions are too emotional. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we come back. We Next time we come back, it's with happiness. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. I don't we like happy. being in my feelings. Yeah, it's, it's with I don't happiness. Like, I need them to see penitentiary parts out. Okay, yeah, yeah. We, we you come came back. here and switched the game up. They're going to love it. We come back. We in the cell. Okay, yeah. we still in the cell because what you don't know, cities had these conversations all the time when yeah, they ain't sure. around everybody else. Right. When they leave out the cell, they the tough guy. They get in the cell. Oh, man, I wish I was at home. Well, since we in the cell, man, you supposed to bring us some, you know, nachos. What's that? What's the jail? Zuzu, Zuzu, what you want? The, the, um, want um, the nacho meal, the spread. He wants spread. Yeah. He, he wants Okay, he, well. The noodles. The, let me the, let this man know you, that I tell him he's in the cell. I'm never sleeping. Okay, so okay, do, hold on. We got a case of, um, we got, what did you put in your noodles? We got chili. Yo, you got the chili? Uh, uh, yo, chili, 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 squeeze uh, cheese. You got some squeeze cheese? Hey, man, stop playing with me, Pickles. Don't move. Come on. I ain't got to reach for Yeah. Oh, we gonna, we'll put some of this in, in a spread. What, what up? Hello. Okay, you what, got the cheese. cheese come okay. on, what, keep talking. Come on, where, where's the noodles? Where's the noodles oh, at, though? Man, come on, man. Yeah, this man gonna play with come me. Come on, stop it, I man. Got, not, you got a motherfucking make it rain in here. You got a motherfucking make it rain. Okay, you got a motherfucking make it rain. Oh, you got the chili flavor? What kind oh, you want? Oh, man, you talking, man. What you you want? talking, man. Chicken. Yeah, I, I mess with the chili flavor. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I must oh, you be fired. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. fired. Yeah. No, come on, man. I got him. I said, like, what you oh, want, wait, chicken? But do you got the chicken picante flavor, though? Tell me you don't. You got that one. Come on, man. You're trying to get in on so, it. So you, got, to you put the chips in your drink, the nachos and all that, right? Yeah, you got to have some move. nachos, person. Smooth. Some nachos. You, you, oh, we don't do nachos. Okay. We do tortillas. Yeah, tortillas. You put the tortillas in it. <laughs> we wrap them up in yeah. tortillas. Okay. We got, we got the chili. We got the nachos. We got the rice. Yeah. Whatever you want to oh, make so the spread. We got so, the cheese so you make the, um, We got the Cheetos. We got, you know. You ready to eat? We, 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 well, I, I put together a bad motherfucker. Okay, so you make the wrap. Yeah, after I make that spread, I take that mother, throw in that tortilla, roll that yeah, okay. tortilla. Oh, not the tortilla chips, the tortilla wrap. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, yeah, sir. We, we about to get out of here, ah! man. We about to eat this food with Percy. Yes, sir. Yo, we'll holler at you. Get a report podcast. We out. Uh, Appreciate you, yes. man. Yes. Y'all did that. I'm caught up in this fast life Every morning that I pray Gotta make it out some